two, we are live. Hello, hello, everyone. Hey, everybody. Hello, ladies. You ladies look so beautiful today. Thank you. Oh, so nice to you, Dr. Rose. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So it's Friday after Thanksgiving. Yes. Wow. Joanne was the first person on mine. Oh, wow. Let me check for mine. Yes. So Joanne gets to get uh, a ticket uh, from me. Okay. I'm getting feedback from somebody. Hold on. That's probably me. Okay. Got it. Uh, who's Thank your you, Nadia. Hey, I'm coming. Huh? Who's your first person on yours? Uh, Joanne. Jo oh, she's on everybody? <laughs> Joanne. Yeah, she's on mine. Okay. I can see her on mine. Okay. For me, it was my turn. Uh, only seen half of you, Ruth. Flip your phone, Ruth, please. Flip it. Hello? Hi. Flip your phone. Flip your phone so it looks like this. <laughs> I'm coming to look like Hollywood Squares. <laughs> <laughs> it sure What's does, PBL coming? What's that? Maybe PBS? Pretty Black Ladies. Is that what? <laughs> oh, yeah, it could be that. Okay, all right. So <laughs> let me just uh, introduce everyone. Okay, Ruth, I'm seeing you twice. and twi twice. Why are you coming on twice? I think it's it's down now. Huh? And I cannot hear her. Hey, okay, all right. Hey, you okay, guys. Hey, so everyone, I'm Rose, Dr. Rose, and then I have Amina with me. So I'm Dr. Hey, Rose, the, the perfume pusher. Amina, the know-it-all. Pam Jordan, the buyer. And uh, Deborah, there, the fragrance enabler. And then Ruth, who's having some technical difficulties. She's the new kid. Ruth, I need you to flip your phone because we cannot hear you. Can you? Can we hear you? We cannot can hear you. Hear you. us? I, I don't know if she can hear us, Doctor Doctor Rose. Hello. Can you okay. hear us? Can you hear us? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get started. Here. So today is Friday. November 27th, uh, we wanted to do a live together just to talk, you know, this is my usual time with Pam, but I said, you know, let's just add, you know, invite some people and then have all of you beautiful ladies here tonight with us. So we, this is like, today is like anything goes, right? Anything goes. Anything goes. Anything goes. Yes. So let's say hello to a few people. We have Joanne, who's the first person on, on mine. Uh, we have per Perfumes with Pat, who's here. We have, uh, who else? I have uh, Mighty Strong, Hello Mighty Strong. Uh, and then I have Cassandra Jones, Hi Cassandra Jones. Uh, who else? Uh, Six Rock and Robin, Hello Rock and Robin. Yes. Uh, 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 Bygro, I can never pronounce his name. Bygro. Bygro, okay, Bygro. Okay, so Sean I still have here. Janice Enoch is here. Sean is so we here. Have, we have quite a few people on, on on this. We have 36 people actually on this slide. So, oh, all right. Crazy. Hey, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for uh, LB81. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. here. So, okay. And Wood, we cannot see your head. This is why, you know, when I'm doing this live with people, I said, hey, we need to test 30 minutes before because we don't want the same thing that happened to me during my first live with uh with uncommon sense to happen. So it's happening now. Uh okay, so you're good now, Ruth. Okay, can you hear us, Ruth? Can you hear us? We cannot hear you. She may be having some connection issues. Yeah. All right, okay. Winter Michelle is here, Yvonne Curtis is here. Hey Yvonne. All right, so let's talk about what did you guys do for today? You know, the people in the audience, what did you guys do today? Did you guys go uh, shopping? Hey, Luncier, thank you for being here. Did no, you guys go shopping? I actually didn't go shopping this time. I told myself, no retail therapy, be responsible. I recently bought a few things, so. Uh, I did not go shopping because, you know, first of all, I don't do... Uh, uh black friday shopping okay uh 
because two reasons i don't like crowds if, if, whenever there's a lot of people i start itching <laughs> <laughs> i just don't like having a lot of people around me right right and the second thing is you know there was a young a young man who got killed in new york uh, a guy uh from haiti who got killed in new york he was a security guy working at a walmart several oh, no. years ago and then they walk all over him just for a tv i for think i heard hours. about that i remember yeah. that yep uh that just turned me off from going for, you know uh, black friday shopping yeah. and i think the same sales you get today you can get them I, they had them yesterday i mean they had them on wednesday and they will have them tomorrow and, and, well. and, and, and sunday and monday yeah. yeah so this is why you know i stayed home but i did buy some shoes though online okay. on uh on, on we yesterday. knew that was coming yeah, I bought some shoes. No, I bought some shoes. I needed some shoes for work. And I always buy, you know, shoes for work during that time for, you know, for the next year. So I did buy some shoes. But you're not going out the house, though. No, I, I bought them online. Bought yeah, them but online. I mean to go to work. Well, I'm going to have to leave to go to work sometime. Okay. Get off my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Melanie Baker is here. Eve Marcel on common sense uh and then we cannot see root root disappeared again all right okay. oh, hi zach how's it going so uh, hey shawl was boyd uh i see cassandra oh on common sense said he got a whole box today what did you get on common sense oh i think got a whole box what did you today. get on common yeah hi jesse Can you hear us, Ruth? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay great. All right, can you introduce yourself to everybody, please? Hi, everybody. Can you, I okay, can hear you, can you yourself? hear me? Huh? Yes, we can hear you, introduce yourself, so people can know oh, you. Hello, my name is Ruth from the Ruth Skip and Hands channel, and I'm so excited to be here. I am the newbie. <laughs> All right, do you know how to change your name to uh, the newbie? Do I know how to do what? <laughs> that's okay that's fine all right uh unique hi unique thanks for being here uh and uh uncommon says he has his card up in his stash okay whatever that means <laughs> all right guys so, thank you everyone i got nadia she complimented me on my hair which i did a live earlier today and i was showing folks how to do um how i do my finger coils uh-huh you know youtube teach cool. you everything y'all <laughs> okay well i need to read this one because you know uh, i only know how to just do a wash and go and yeah, then we talked about uh, that but you've got hair to do wash and go my hair <laughs> won't look like yours yeah yeah i can dries do out hey, it's not it's not my fault that uh uh i i, I know how to use gel <laughs> See, I'm always scared to use gel because I always okay. get uh, the, uh, the flakies. Uh, someone yes. said, uh, uh, someone, someone just introduced themselves to you. Said, "Hi, Wood. My name is Eve. Nice to meet you." So you uh, have to nice interact with people. You, okay? Yeah. Uh, the, the goal. Hey, Elfin. Uh, hi, Nadia. The goal is to look at your screen and interact with people as they are interacting with you. So this is, you know, it's all of us in this together. Okay. So it's not just one person. It's all of us in this together. So let's start. What did what perfumes do you guys have that has been in your collection in the last two weeks? Oh, <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> well, first off, I want to ask, what is everyone wearing tonight? Because I'm wearing a fragrance by someone who's actually in my chat today. Um, oh, which is, really? Yeah, by um, Mason Dedarius. I'm wearing Velour. Oh, uh, I know exactly who right. a few minutes ago. But it's from a black owned indie brand. He's based in uh, I think the DMV areas or in DMV, yeah, Maryland. Maryland. I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Um and I think Pam has experience with the house along with Deb. Absolutely. Uh, my favorite ended up being Velour when I sampled the, the house and it's it was rainy and cool and gray today. So this I needed something to kind of lift me up, something sweet, something delicious, and this this made it happen. What are the okay. notes in that one, Amina? This one, I believe, has amber, caramel, and oud. I get a little bit of rose in there as well, although it's not listed. But um, yeah, yeah those are the notes. Yeah, 
yeah, it's kind of an oriental type, you know, oriental style fragrance, but it's really good. And it's really strong, really strong. I didn't have yeah. to apply at all today and I can yeah. still like, smell it on my skin. Okay. So what are you wearing, uh, Pam? Well, you? today, <laughs> today was an interesting day. I pulled out Learn to Dit by Givenchy. And that's what I'm wearing today. What are the you things I really like about this? It's a fragrance that you can actually utilize all year long, but it really pulls really nice when it's a little colder. It is sweet. It's a little heavy for Givenchy, I think, but for the most part, ah, Libre Intense. That's a new one. But yeah, this yeah. one here, I really liked. I started off with something lighter, but I wasn't feeling it. So I just washed it off and went ahead and switched it out for the Leon today. Okay. What about you, Deb? Okay, so what I put on, I just put Angel on because it was like right there in front of me. <laughs> but I'm going to start with my most recent purchase. This well, beauty. We can't no, do that yet. You just put Am Angel I on, so you have to let Wood tell people what you put on. And then on please. breaking protocol. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, please. Don't make me put <laughs> the line already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so today I was mostly, well, I was in between two homes, but like um, between my home and picking up my sister. So I have this on and this is one of the ones I just added to my collection. I actually bought it for my birthday, but I just opened it because I just filmed that vlog. I mean, that vlog slash haul. So I'm wearing uh, Victor and Ralph Magic from the Magic oh. Collection. And this is um, Invisible Oud. Yes, but it's not oh. my absolute favorite from the house, but it's really, really nice. It's okay. invisible. Pretty okay, no, don't be a bunch of haters, okay? We already know. Uh, we already know you were wearing that. We're not hating. <laughs> I'm wearing Luby Crown. We're not hating. You know it's a big bottle and you could share. <laughs> oh, heck no. I am not sharing this baby. Give me a DK. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, give me a DK. I love how she demands it. Give me a DK. <laughs> And you know what? When I when I tried this yesterday, the first person who came to mind was you, you them. I was like, yeah, yeah this is your perfume. I it's love like that nice bottle. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is definitely your perfume. You you're going to love this one because you know it's all gourmet and then you know that's your sweet. You you like sweet perfume. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nope. So you know what? So this perfume is not one that you share with people. Okay, it's not a shareable <laughs> perfume. Just like I told you guys, uh, the one from uh, Angel Share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you gotta get your own. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, you gotta get your own. Well, yeah. I would have gotten my Luby had my account not been uh, jammed. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Um, so uh, two days ago, I was on the live with um, Alex from the House of Siage. And um, so he mentioned that they were doing a Black Friday and basically they were selling their fragrances for less, for more than 50%. Well, they had a bigger discount. So it was like uh -huh. 145, 149, something like that. So I'm like, this is the perfect time to get my mom and my sister their stuff. So mm -hmm. I jump on there. And I'm trying to purchase, and it kept saying, transaction won't go through, transaction won't go through. Yeah. So like, well, maybe maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm let me hurry before it sells out. And I go, and I hit Afterpay. That didn't go through. Okay. So something just said, check your account. I checked my account. My account was wiped clean. Why? Oh, my bank account was wiped clean. I had $22 and is it $22.32 or 36 cents, something like that. Wow. Yeah. So what happened? So this is a lesson for everyone around this time of the year from oh, what oh, I was right. Yes, they, they do yeah. talk. They do yeah. talk about that a lot. I just, you know, that was crazy because it happened over a period of time. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen like all at one time. So, it, you know, a lesson learned as you pay attention to your stuff every day. It's just, I'm just not someone that goes to my account and checks it every single day. Me too. I'm surprised wow. that you're saying that. Like well, yeah. it didn't yeah. because it wasn't large purchases. The, largest, the purchases weren't large. Well, go okay. set an email a lot around this time for any kind of, you know, maybe anything over a certain amount of money that you get, you get an email. Right. But it wasn't like that. It was small purchases. 
And so oh. in my live today, I discussed that, you know, a lot of times we look at that, it's, it, it is a violation yeah. of your privacy. It is a violation when people do that to you. But on the other hand, the things that where they were shopping, mm. you could tell that person was in need. Yeah. Uh, gas. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I have to put out a, a lot, you, you know, know, stuff, stuff like that. that. So yeah. mm -hmm. you could tell that that person or persons were in need. And, you know, in, I flipped it in my head. This is how I look at things, right? When a negative thing happens, the automatic response for us, you know, that fight or flight syndrome. So sometimes there's a story behind why people do what they do. Mm -hmm. Right. And so 10 years ago, five years ago, I might have like flipped the switch and I was pissed off. But at the end of the day, there's always a reason why things happen the way they do. And so that's a blessing to that individual, whether they whether they intended it to be or not, because the bank is going to take care of me. So that's how I looked at it. See, I admire that about you, Pam, because I would have been flipping tables and <laughs> Calling yeah. and everybody out, and you're like, no, you know. Well, no, I've been, I've been in my yeah. lifetime. I have been where I've been the person that was lifting up the car seat, on, and you know how you swip the car seat backwards, you know, all yeah. the way back, and you're lifting up the mat and stuff like that for funds. <laughs> I've been there before, so mm -hmm. I know what it's like to not know oh. how to pay your bills and all of that type of stuff. And not everyone has that that experience. So coming from there, five years ago, I probably would have been mad if I was waiting on that check or if I was going to, you know what I'm saying? But it's to buy a bottle of perfume. Yes, it was to buy a bottle of perfume for my mom and for my sister. But at the end of the day, you know, when I looked, because I went through, the bank does that with you where you sit down and you actually go through each transaction. Mm -hmm. And um, they can't always tell where those transactions were, but you can do a dispute now and they'll go back mm -hmm. and they'll do their research and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not really and then within, within three days, they put all the money back in your account. Well, not necessarily so, because remember what I said, this is the time of the year that there's a lot of this type of stuff going on. So, you yeah. know, and Corona is yeah. happening as well. And I know my bank for one, they, they helped people who weren't able, who weren't working. So they put things in place to assist as well. Because I'm with them. Um, it's it's military affiliated, which is I'm sure you guys have heard of it. USAA. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 So they were they were good. It, it wasn't you know. So I'm not worried about it. But bottom line is, I couldn't go shopping and buy me no Luby Crown, no Luby Rouge, no Luby. <laughs> no Luby. Okay. Okay. Luby telling you guys not to be quiet because you have all of those sisters here. You could have called us. We could have sent you five dollars. <laughs> Okay, Ruby 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 that's $25 for, for what? <laughs> if you know, that's, money, that's money, for diaper, money for diapers. You wear diapers, Pam? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm going to pick you up right now. What, what, where did she go? I don't know. I am, she's right there. She's right there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, uh, so we okay, so now Dr. what Rose is like the head of having y'all that you purchased in the last two weeks? Hey, okay. Christina. I, I think you should go first, uh, Dr. Rose. Me, yeah, well, yeah. okay, so I don't have things that I've purchased in the last two. Well, I, I do, but I have some things that I've, had that I've had for a while that I've never opened that I actually opened yesterday because I, I did a video yesterday and I, it's gonna come out. Aren't you guys proud of me? In two days, I put out, I put two videos out. You oh, got no, three good. videos today. On fire. I'm on the rock. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yes. So this is new to my collection. Pam sent this to me the other day. Uh, yes. It's uh, <clears throat> Kenzo, uh, Flower by Kenzo. Hmm. That Pam sent, sent to I, I, and I have some other ones. I have something that uh, that I received from, from, uh, from Deb. Uh, so I have a few things that people have given me. This is a flower by Kenzo. It's it's a beautiful floral fragrance. Let's just put it this way. It's you know okay. this one is. I'm gonna so we're doing a video. We're doing a collab about you know five fragrances that you wear to bed. So I'm gonna put one of those in that one in one of those fragrances for bedtime. Any it's, it's a beautiful, oh? spoilers, uh, Dr. Rose. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so it will be uh, part of that video. It's a beautiful floral, really, really uh, sweet perfume. And thank you so much, Pam, for giving this to me. You're welcome. Really nice. I don't get a lot of things from people, by the way. When I get something from people, you know, hey, Jay, you know, I, I'm happy when people give me stuff. 
It's hard to send you stuff. You have everything. Huh? It's hard to send you stuff. It's no, every, you have everything. Not all the men. <laughs> <laughs> See? Ruth, you all never send 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 anything. anything. I can arrange it. <laughs> What's going on? What? Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, what about you, Amina? For me, I will start with... Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know um, a few months ago, maybe two or three months ago, I did a Getting to Know Joe Live with Chad Bilesma, who is an independent perfumer based out of Seattle. Mm -hmm. And uh, really great guy. He's actually doing, I think, a Black Friday yeah. sale at the moment. But I took advantage of his Deuces Donnie sale, which was after election, when we found out we were going to be saying Deuces to Donnie. Um, he had a 40% off sale, so I stocked up on all the things that were on my wish list. So I'm just wow. going to go one by one, not to overwhelm anyone. But one of them is, um, well, one that I had and featured in one of my videos was Eau de Cologne. And this one's like a really nice barbershop type fragrance that has like notes of uh, peppermint and basil. It's really great. Uh, very fresh, clean. If you like barbershop scents, I recommend it. But one, one of the ones that I recently got is Severine. I don't know if you guys can see it. The light's kind of bright, but Severine. This one is like his interpretation of a rose oud fragrance. But to me, I don't get a lot of oud. It's more of a sweet, rosy sandalwood fragrance with a lot of musks. Um, mm. I think it's really great. And with the discount, it was a steal. And oh. um, this thing lasts long. My mom really loves this, uh, which mm -hmm. is nice. Because now we can, you know, I mean, she kind of sneaks my stash every now and then. But <laughs> I know for sure she likes this. So this is one that will be going back and forth between us. Um, but yeah, this one's Severine by Aj de Quirel. I don't know if I said the name of the brand, actually. The brand is, how, is um, Aj de Quirel. I don't know if you can see. I'll put it in the chat. Okay. okay. Oh, I know everyone can see it. Is that, a, nice. is that a fragrance that's a new brand or just new to you? It's not completely new to me. I was introduced to them about three months ago when I got the Discovery sets. Okay. And yeah, so I guess new, relatively new, three months okay. ago. And he's been at it, I think, for, oh, I honestly, I, I don't know how long he's been at it. But he's still a very small, independent brand. Um, but very nice guy, really funny, really cool. So I suggest, if you're in the U.S., check him out. Okay. All right. I'm on the, I am on the no-buy for the next. <laughs> you say all is that, the time. Is that wrong, hold up, hold up. <laughs> she says this all the time. I am on a no, so the reason why I'm on a no buy is because I'm raising money uh, for those kids uh, who are going back to school in January in Haiti. So instead yeah, of buying perfume, I'm, I'm <laughs> you said that last time. What you said? You, you said that last time. time. <laughs> I, I want to see these girl. kids. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I have uh, we have a bunch of kids that we support in my neighborhood, and then they actually go to the school, do the high school that I went to in Haiti. So most of those kids are kids, you know, with uh, without a mom or without a dad who have died either from HIV AIDS, you know, from cancer or from the earthquake. So uh, oh, every boy right. who sent, who, uh, we pay for their uh, for their school. I, I mean, I I do because I pay for their schools for the year, and then I buy for the books and pay for the uniform. So I raise money from October until December. Uh, you know, to help them out. So today I decided instead of giving a bunch of stuff away, I'm just gonna sell them. Okay. Uh, and so I have some stuff here to sell. And if people want to buy them, you know, they can purchase them at a low price. And then I'm going to take that money and then put it towards, you know, to pay for the, for the schools. That's nice. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's the, that's the plan. I, I mean, I may buy something I'll, that I I'll, want. I'll buy, the, I'll buy the Louboutin for five bucks. I'll do it for 10. <laughs> I'll do it for 15. Okay. You do 15, uh, what? I'll do 15. <laughs> what about you, Deb? How much are you offering? Five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work like that, Deb. <laughs> uh, so, see, uh, what is this? Them is messing with me now. Uh, on comment says, I promise, if, even if you're giving money to the, to, the, to the kids for school, you will still find a couple of coins for a fragrance or night. I mean, he's not lying. I, I totally agree. He's, he's not totally. lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, okay, you know, so you know, I get to a point I have I have all the perfumes that I want. I believe it. Yeah, I, I, have, have, too. I have a lot of, you know, I've been lucky. I have a lot of wonderful perfumes in my collection. And, you know, if I buy something, you know, it has to be something that I really, really want that I've never had. Yeah. Yeah, in my collection for me to buy it. So I can take it easy for a while because I have so much content that I can put, you know, I have enough, I can put in, you know, for, I can put at least 100 videos out without buying anything. Uh, Cheryl says she'll do for $12. Thank you, Cheryl. Except it will take you three months to get it because I sent a bunch of things to Cheryl. She texted me the other day. She said, it's going to take me two months to find to get my stuff. Oh, no. Yeah, because they have to go to custom in her country. Oh, uh, where is she? Is she also in Germany? Uh, no, I don't know where she is. She's in, in one of the islands. Oh. Let us know which country you live in, Cheryl, because I never know which country she lives in. Hey, Sunflower, you know, you are not too late. They're just giving me a headache. Okay, they're just, <laughs> yeah, they're just giving, giving me, giving As me usual. Away. yeah. Okay, so who's next? Yeah, who's next? Uh, is it you, Pam? Um, oh, yes. yes. How okay. you up, Oldie? What's that? Nothing. Sorry, love you. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. Wow. As you can see, nothing really touches me. See that? I'm a, like a duck. In fact, I'm a swan. Look at that. <laughs> my shoulders, but I'm rolling off my shoulder. <laughs> Damn. Anyway. No, someone, someone said you look so pretty and shy. Ruth, don't be shy. Ruth, don't let any of them bully you. Okay? I'm, don't let any, I'm the only one who can bully you. Don't let any of them bully you. I, I'm trying to respond to people on my phone. That's why I keep looking down. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Okay. So one of the items that I purchased in the last couple of weeks, as a matter of fact, this one here is a new one to me. And mm -hmm. I talked about this the last couple of lives, and this is Prada Candy Night. And the reason why this Ooh. one is new, this is a really good set. Um, one of the things that I really liked about this is a chocolate line, the chocolate element in it. I think it's cocoa, but I call it chocolate because it makes me feel sexier. <laughs> <laughs> but this one here is I found this one. I remember telling you guys about the sale that um, we had at the Ulta that they were 50% off. Mm -hmm. So I went into my Ulta and uh, spoke with one of the sales associates. One, Yes, I guess that's what you call them, the sales associate there. And so they had like three left. So I picked those up. This is one of the fragrances that I purchased that I love and that I would gift this to anyone. And in the same token, utilizing the word gift, is going to be one of the gifts that's going to be in a um, what I call Pam's Christmas basket because I'm going to do holiday giveaways. Okay, oh, nice. so that's what I purchased it for. So that's Prada Candy Night, and I think that anyone who likes gourmand fragrances, soft but not um, not soft as in you can't smell it soft, soft as in it's calm, uh, warm, cozy, that type of scent. That's mm -hmm. what the scent does, especially the fact that it has that chocolate cocoa element to it. It's not boozy at all. It's just a really, really sexy scent. So that's Prada Candy Night. So this Thank is a tiny know. box and it will be included in one of the um, giveaways that I'm going to be having for the holidays. Nice. I'm coming to just say to enable your enable enablement. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, <I'm> Tommy. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yep. Why? No. <laughs> uh, Prada candy. I, you know what? I, I told you about that perfume. I smell it and I, I loved it. You uh, have the night? The Prada candy night? No, no. I, I wanted to buy, but I, I, every time I try to buy them, like, it's just... I think this one is the best planker out of all of them. I've got this one and I've got the gloss, which is in the pink bottle. I don't know uh -huh. if you know. Um, the all pink bottle. I smell the rest of them. I sprayed them on paper and I have, I have sprayed them on my skin. And so far, this one is the most delectable to me. And that's the, the, this one here is, I think it's a new, I think it's new, meaning like 2019, 2020 release. Oh, okay. But yeah. This one is really, really good. I, um, I was very surprised, but when I wore it and I tested it the first night I wore it, it literally lasts the next night, the next day when I got up, it smelled really comforting. It wasn't like heavy beast mode, headachey, none of that mm -hmm. stuff. I didn't get any of it with, with that. So that's why I think that um, someone will really enjoy the, this one here. What is Chaperon Zoe? Chaperon Zoe was on on my earlier live today. What, he didn't check in with you? 
<laughs> Brother was on my live earlier today. He's around. Is he not on your channel? I'm gonna kill him. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Ruth, Chaperone is my brother. I know. I I know. Yeah. I watch your live. <laughs> oh, okay, Crystal. Crystal, big baller. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Crystal. <laughs> That's so nice of you. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Hey, okay, so let me tell you guys. So they're going to take, um, uh, you know, that, you that 20 dollars they just gave me. Let me tell you what that 20 dollars can do. That's on your channel, honey. That's on my channel. That's on your channel? That's on my channel. Don't get it twisted. Well, what I will do with that 20 dollars. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, so twenty dollars when someone gives twenty dollars. Uh, uh. Oh yeah. Congratulations, Pam. Pam got monetized. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yay. Yay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, so that twenty dollars will go towards Ruth and her. You know, you got to show me a tax receipt though that you actually paid for them kids. How do you? What do you mean? How Whenever do you do volunteer work or you're doing any work that you're providing any funding for uh -huh. any type of services, mm -hmm. you keep a tax receipt so that you I can. can, I, can I can give you the receipt from the school. No, no one has any. Don't get a receipt, huh? Ruth, you should, yeah. especially as much as you're helping. Uh, I. How do you? If you do things from outside of the country, how do you have a tax receipt? They should. Uh, we, we'll, we'll talk, talk offline. Yeah. We'll talk no, offline. They should. As much, say, as, I do have an done, so, uh, yes, as much as you've done for that school and for those families, it, there it, should it, be it, some it, sort of receipt it, it, to it, show it, that you've been doing it's that. Fine. It's fine. People have trusted me with a lot more money than that. It's fine. Uh, Where are you talking? Knows me in the Haitian community knows that you know. Hey, Rose always uh, send money to Haiti in school for school. Thanks, Rose, Cheryl. Everyone. So it's fine. Uh, all right. Uh, you can keep the twenty dollars, girlfriend. Uh, I will. But well, I appreciate money you. somehow. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, who, who? Okay. What's next? Ruth is next. I'm next. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, I have this. Can you guess which one it is, though? Yeah. Okay. Montella. I yeah. want to say that is that roses vanilla? Yes. Yeah, so oh, nice. Yes, yeah, so I just got that now. Yeah. Um, Thank I'm you, really Sean. Excited. I wore it yesterday. It was my scent of the day yesterday. Nice. And How do you like yeah, it? I really like it. Does that have good lasting, like lasting power for a long period? Yes, it does, actually. Yeah, it okay. does. I only got to try it yesterday, so I want to try it a couple more times, and then I'll do a review on it. Okay. Yeah, but it's supposed to be one of the best ones from Mansara, and of course, Dr. Rose got me on this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not everybody on Mentera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> except for me, I'm not convinced yet. Oh, uh, okay. oh, Amina, I wanted to tell you uh, the money we raised for the breast cancer. Yeah, they, they sent me a letter, so I have a letter from the. Oh, nice. Yeah, from the Cancer Foundation. So I need to oh. uh, open. It. I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna okay, open it, nice. post it in our in our community. Oh, nice. Community group, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So Ruth, you mentioned that Dr. Rose got you on Mentera. I'm thinking you got more than one. Well, um, they're not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> because so when she first talking them. to you about Mansari, you just can't buy one. Yeah, she's supposed to send me samples, but um, I have, I think, three coming. Yeah. Oh, so wow. you went in, huh? You have yeah, three? I really like it. Yeah. What we'll see, they? though. We'll see if I like them. But yeah, so far. What are they? I think um, the wild candy or something like that. Something, the oh, one that is the really cheetah. Good. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, the owl mint, I think. Um, and another oh, one that's like leopard skin. Wow. It's leopard skin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't need to be buying any more Manceras. Uh, you probably have every single one that's ever made. Her. I don't have a lot of them. They, they have about 50 and I only have 20. Wow. Really? They have up to like, oh, I only have 20. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> only. Um, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh okay, my God. So can do this. Deb. Listen to this. She has 10 that she needs to buy because of me. I, I did yeah. not do it to you. Aaron. Yeah. 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 I did not do it to you, Aaron. To you, Aaron. Oh uh, yeah, you did. I think you sent her those samples, and now she's addicted. 
Uh, yeah, she texted me today and said uh, she, she wish she was rich because she needs to buy every single one of them that I sent her. I'm like, look, all I do is just provide the sample. <laughs> That sounds like an innocent uh, plea there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just provide the samples. That's what I do. <laughs> okay. Hey, Annie. Uh, thank you for being your girlfriend. All right. So, thank uh, you. so I have some fragrance here for sale. If anybody uh, is interested in buying them, I can tell them what they are. Okay. Unfortunately, Wait, I'm, not, I'm not giving those. Y'all skipping me, Doctor Rose. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 she did do, oh, and we saw her pup. She brought her dog on there. We missed it. Uh, go ahead. I remember that, Doctor Rose. That's all right, though. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Deb. This one, this one right here, because of you. Oh, you I got, got it. <laughs> the oh, note, Vinny. Ooh. The vanilla and cognac and rum is in here too, right? Uh huh. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh boy, you got one. it. That's a really? very pretty bottle. Isn't it pretty? It has little bottle? like crystals on it too. Uh -huh. yep. I like oh, that. I like the color of the juice. That's no Camille by M. Oh, right. Yeah. Wait, amazing. you didn't have that before, Deb? Uh uh. Deb didn't have it. I got a decant. Oh, okay. I also, where's my decant? Someone just called me the simple bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That is definitely what you are. <laughs> that is what she is. Yeah, I have a I have a live tomorrow uh, where I'm going to talk about my uh, uh, perfume collection. Part what? Sixteen. That's and a half? which one is that you're doing? Uh, I don't remember which ones. Hey Deb, which one was that? Crystal's asking. This one is um. I can Note Vanille. Note Vanille. And Nicholas. Oh, Mikolet fragrances are historically very pretty, aren't they? Is it M E gorgeous, I yeah. L L E F F? I don't remember. I don't know. Okay, you guys get it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, I think it's M I C A L L E F F. You know, I still haven't tried any, well, many from that house, only Note Vanille. And there's one that I got as a sample a long time ago that came in like a mini bottle. And I thought it was really nice, but I feel like they have so many fragrances. Yeah. That I really need to um, explore. I have, well, I'm not very familiar. Is that like a fragrance house, a jewelry house, a design yeah, house? Let me the fragrance house. They, they have many, many fragrances out there. Okay. I'm taking yeah. notes. Uh, I only have two from that house. The other one I think is discontinued. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's hard to find. It's the one with the uh, crystal, looks like gold inside of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, also, it's, also a it's also vanilla. I have this. Huh? I hear a background. Yeah, I think yeah. someone has their video. Sorry, yeah, I just was trying to respond to a message. Sorry, guys. That was me. Okay. So we're back at you, Rose. Uh for okay, so all right. I I've had this perfume in my collection for a while, but I never opened it until last night. Then I I'm gonna come back to the ones that I'm selling and you know, uh if people wanna buy them, it's fine. If they don't wanna buy them, you know, it's it's also okay. You know we're gonna buy them. I don't know why you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean it's for it's for a good cause. Uh, yeah. and, you know. So this one is uh clandestine Clara uh by Pen oh. Okay. Girl, look, I'm telling you, when I, I when I opened this thing yesterday, I I I, I had no idea what to ex what to expect. What I was expecting. Okay. Do you like it? it? What? Man, I don't know what the freaking notes are, but I need to lose such what, what is that one called again? Clandestine Clara. Clandestine Clara. I think Lulu yeah. sent me a sample. Yeah, yeah I have a, a a sample of it from Lulu. Oh my God, it is. Did you like it? I love this. I'm gonna remind myself what it smells like. It's boozy. It's kind of boozy. Is it vanilla boozy? Any chocolate or cocoa? I don't know. Let me. I can look it up. Look, I'm gonna. I have. A, let me pull. Because you know, there is another. Um, she's she's across the pond, Abby. I think it's her name. Yeah, Abby from um, in London. Yes, 
she's been she has a lot of that house penhaligans fragrances yeah. and i think that's the first time i heard of it as well as tower from olfacto files i have i have a few penhaligans as well yeah i have, I have one that you made you buy uh, amina uh which the, one the, the jasmine one this one <laughs> yes i love this one so this is the the other perfume from Mikalev that's really good. Deb, Ilo Ilo in gold, Ilo in gold. Yeah, ah, it's really good. Yeah, it's discontinued. Yes. It's, it's hard to find. Yeah. You can find it some places here and there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and that's what Clara has. Let me tell you the notes. That that stuff is so rosy. It has four point two uh, 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 votes on uh, Fragrantica, and you know what okay. that can be. Uh, it came out in 2017. They say, oh, you know what? She used to, she's a smoker too. Who? Who? She's a smoker. So it's a sp uh, spicy but equally sweet uh, perfume. Who are you talking about? The, so, the perfume. The, uh, the, the, the description. The oh, okay. description. I was just talking about somebody's like yeah, a person. Rum, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. rum, vanilla, woody notes for truly and cinnamon. It's very, it's very, guys. This perfume is uh, is very uh, boozy. It's really good. I'm smelling it now. Too. Yeah, it's uh, definitely, definitely winter. So Jen loves nail polish. Uh, she said mm -hmm. that yeah, it's good, and she thought she'd like change in Constance, which is another one I think I've heard quite a bit on the buzz on YouTube. Um, but she couldn't smell it on her, and I think it has a lot to do. You know, we talk about on noses being the forefront for how we determine, you know, how we feel about a fragrance and whatnot. But I think mm -hmm. our skin tells us a lot too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we spray it on our skin, a lot of times you have a reaction is one. Mm -hmm. And you have this, com it's almost like a compulsory feeling to constantly sniff, right? Yeah. So that sense, sensory mode to do that. But then the other piece to that, you know, is when it disappears, it creates like significant frustration. So I think, I think that's what Change in Constance did for her, which is what um, the one that everybody likes, which is Baccarat Rouge 540. That does that for me because I cannot mm -hmm. smell it. I love that other people can smell it. That's great. But if you have a mm -hmm. fragrance and you can't smell it, it takes away the joy of that experience. Yeah. But, um, Dr. Rose, that one, did you purchase that from um, the store or? I think I got it from Fragrance uh, by that CA. Okay. Yeah. But you know, I, I never opened it until I was doing a video last night with my uh, winter winter collection and then I opened it and I, and I right. smelled it. I was like, whoa, I should have opened this like, you know, weeks ago. Mm. It's boozy. So, you know, if you're looking for a boozy perfume, you don't want to spend, you know, because, you know, boozy perfumes are, are kind, of, kind, of, kind of expensive, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a boozy perfume for like maybe under $200, I think this one will do it. Okay. Yeah. This one, this, this, so, this yeah. will do it. Deb, you've got a question. What's yeah, your that's favorite yeah. masculine fragrance? For me, um, it'll be Annie by Nishane. That is super what? masculine on me. It's super really? masculine on me. Wow. Mm -hmm. I actually had it and I sent it back because like when it dried down, it was like cologne. It was vanilla, wow. but it was, it just smelled like a dude. And I just, I didn't want it. It wasn't bad, but it was just too, a little too masculine for me. If okay. you find a good commission in my way. It's gone now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was too expensive to hold on to if I didn't you, like you it. Yeah, it's not working out. It? Yeah. Hmm. Did you sell it to someone? No, I sent well, it back to where it came from. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. have, you know that that fragrance get a lot of hype on YouTube. A lot. A I love lot that. Annie. I love Annie. Mm -hmm. I like it too. Uh, I like others a bit better, but Annie is really nice. A nice vanilla scent. Yeah. Green vanilla. Okay. Uh, another green vanilla that's really good is uh, the one from. Uh, uh, Oh my God! On common sense, was talking about them. Though. Really, Aaron? Which two? Let me know. Uh, Aaron did. What did she do? Um, no, she uh has some Francesca Bianchi uh samples. Oh. 
And you guys know how obsessed I am. So she's <laughs> saying that two of them are on her wish list now. So I'm curious okay. to know what she did. Joanne said, I, I got her loving Annie. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, am I next? I think I'm next. Yes. You are. Okay, so someone was just asking about masculine scents. And if you guys know me, you guys know that I like, masculine I wear anything, scent. whether it's masculine, feminine, unisex, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I actually got this sent to me. If you're on YouTube, you guys are probably familiar with um, Mr. Smelly, Dan. Yes. And he has mm -hmm. a fragrance brand called Gravitas. Well, not fragrance brand. The brand is called uh, Wilson and Naughton, I believe or Naughton and Wilson, and then the fragrance is called Gravitas. And this is one of the most classiest, but at the same time, modern barbershop fragrances. And it's just really lovely. It has a lot of lavender in it, but what makes it special to me is the fact that it has this sweet, juicy orange in the opening when normally mm -hmm. barbershop fragrances have like bergamot, lemon, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, citruses, citruses that are quite tart and sharp, but this one is more sweet and round. Mm -hmm. And it has a lot of vanilla in the dry down. It's just really good. And first off, I need to take take time to I mean, look at that. That's a nice. That really beautiful. And it's a hundred mil extra um, concentration. And mm -hmm. I think full price is only like a hundred and less than hundred and twenty dollars, I believe, for a bottle like this. I mean, yeah. I have loads of fragrances that have similar like bottles to this, and that one costs a lot of hundred dollars. But I think for what you're getting for the price is pretty damn good. I'm hoping to do a review on it soon. Is that his first fragrance? I think it's so. the first, yes. It's the only one yeah. that he has. And That's if you watch his channel, he really talks about um, just classic gentlemanly scents. That's his thing. So mm -hmm. it's no surprise the first fragrance that he comes out with is a fougere. And I, like I said, I love fougeres. And this is going to be one that I wear very often. And I just love the presentation. I think it's done really, really it's well. Beautiful. Um, and I also want to mention that I think most of the fragrance, if not all of them that I'm talking about tonight are going to be indie brands. And I kind of want to uh, focus a bit more on them, especially during the holiday season. To So everyone supports smaller brands. A lot of them are struggling, especially this year with COVID. Um, you know, your parfums of Marley, your Chanel's, your whatever, although I love them, but they're not going to struggle as much as those who are actually doing the work themselves. Absolutely. And, and wow. yeah, so most, so, like I said, most, if not all the fragrances I'm talking about are going to be from indie brands. So, Just to kind of encourage everyone, especially for the holiday season, support small businesses. Yes. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, I, I do agree with you, Amina, but let, let me say one, 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 let me add something to what you just said. Okay. Even though the bigger brands are not suffering, but the people who are working for them are suffering because they lay off when they turn around and lay off people who are working for them, those people are also suffering because yeah. uh, Neiman Marcus uh, laid off a lot of people uh, right, you know, in April, May, and most of those people are still out of work. So uh, we may think we, we may think that the bigger brands are not suffering, but you know they are suffering because they, they are they are not selling as much as they, they are selling. So they lay in, you know they lay off people, and the company that are selling for them are laying off people. So everybody's suffering. Yeah. yeah, but when I say you know independent brands, and those companies aren't suffering. I'm talking about like the CEO of of Louis Vuitton, the LVMH. He's not hurting. Yeah, he's not hurting. Those, the people those, who are working for yeah, him are hurting. Yeah. People who are actually the head. So like, yeah. for example, Chad, he's a one-man show. He's making the fragrances. He's bottling them. He's, you know, he does it yeah. all by himself. And same with some of the other brands I'm going to be talking about. Same with Zach. So when I feel like and big brands, I'm talking about, you know, they're the people who are the head of them, the owners of them, they're not suffering. Of course, and because also, they're big business they have smaller big, people working big companies them, such as Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, all these big companies, even though they laid off those individuals, they received a stipend for the first two months that they were laid off. All the staff members did, including uh, staff from TJ Maxx, Target, oh, all of those individuals. Why they were, Well, Target wasn't closed at all. So those individuals received a stipend to help tie them over. Plus, they received the surplus checks, the government check. We call them back in the day, the government checks. <laughs> they received that too. But individuals that are self-owned, self-made business men and women in the houses, those individuals, they are sourcing it on their own. The financial backing, they have to mm -hmm. receive it on their own. 
They don't have lawyers or anyone else to fight cases for them or anything. They're doing it all <laughs> on their own. And the, I think I spoke to so far only two and Zach being one of them um, from um, Maison de Barry. Friend. Mm -hmm. And so I have a greater appreciation because I know I, I had a conversation with a couple of other uh, my peers on here about, you know, presentation and all that type of stuff about fragrances. But when it boils down to it, if you're in your kitchen, let's just say you have take it away from fragrance. You have to feed your kids and you make it fudge. OK, you can't afford to buy the sugar. You can't afford to buy the, you know, to make the caramel and all of that stuff. All of that's come from you. The plastic that you have to wrap it on, to cut it on, to cool it on, to wrap it up, to put it in a bag. All of that's coming out of your pocket. Neiman Marcus and they ain't got to worry about any of that. Okay. So if you've been working for Neiman Marcus or Saks for more than, I believe it's um, one year, you're going to get, you can go collect unemployment. An indie brand cannot go collect in unemployment. So I think coming up on Christmas, because I've seen a lot of them have amped up their advertisement on Instagram. Mm -hmm. They've also tried amping up their advertisement on Facebook. But you're not seeing any of those indie brands anywhere else but those two platforms because they can't afford the, when you do your YouTube, you know, I'm monetized. But <laughs> this is a new <laughs> art. Like, can we move on? Because this show is really not about, about advertising so, for any other companies. So can we move yeah, on? We, now, we can still we're here shop. To do? Yeah, I still shop at Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue when my account got money in it, right? <laughs> I, still, I still shop at those places because I, I understand. I used to be a sales associate, so I get it. But at the end of the day, those indie brands, if we're spending money, we need to lift up and put money into those companies just as well, including positive but constructive feedback. That's important as Absolutely. well. Because they need to know from us, the people who they want to buy their stuff, what rights should look like for us when we're dumping our money on, you know. Yeah, yeah. My opinion. Exactly. Okay. Oh, what's next? Dr. Rose is over it. I'm not here to do advertisement for any company. At the end of the day, they, they, don't, they don't pay my bills because I, I, I go to the hospital and I take care of patients and I pay my bills. So, all right, let's go. All right. Who's next? <laughs> Who's next? I think I'm next. Yeah, yes, you are. I'm next. Okay. So, I'm going to use my platform to do just that. Okay. So, <clears throat> So what I decided to do this week is I decided to try and pull out some of my old fragrances and start playing with them a little bit more. And I have these two right here, which is Chanel number no. five and Coco Mademoiselle. And I tried a layering cocktail by utilizing the Mademoiselle uh, cream. And then I layered it with Chanel number no. five. And then I put Coco. I just wanted to see number one, what it would smell like and then how long it would last. Oh. This stuff is strong, like South Carolina strong, strong with the S-K-R-O-N-G. Wait, wait, what did you mix together? Coco Mademoiselle? Now number five, Coco Mademoiselle, the intense version, and then this one here. I wanted to see how long it would last. Number one, if it would smell good. Okay, how I have, long I have a question, fam. What? Who are you trying to blow up? <laughs> Your husband? <laughs> right. I'm sure that did the trick. It sure did. What, what did he do to you? <laughs> he didn't do anything to me. He loved it. He loved it. But wow. I'm telling you, the strength of the, uh, yes, Jay, yes, the strength of that fragrance. It's so funny because I, I don't know if you guys okay. were oh, one of my first Stop. videos. Stop. I talked about Jesus. Her husband is here. Stop. Oh. My YouTube husband is Hi, Hello, Fragrance honey. Anatomy. Hi, Fragrance Anatomy. <laughs> Hello, lover. Okay, so Ruth, whenever you see this guy, if you're alive with me, you have to stop talking. Whatever is here. Oh, really? <laughs> That's my YouTube husband. Yes. <laughs> okay, you may speak now. Okay. So, the married woman is saying, because I ain't got to play one. <laughs> okay, let's try two for you. Try to you out. Crazy. <laughs> The married yeah. woman is saying that this is the mom okay. calm, okay? <laughs> and if you, I learned about layering because I was talking about how some of Chanel fragrances, the lighter ones wasn't lasting on me. And they told me to buy this. And so I asked me to buy this fragrance. Uh-huh. 100% I would recommend. Now you don't need to mix these. I just wanted to see what the scents would you. be. 
Huh? No. Um, Sensi Mama. Yes. Is saying if I yes. can send her a little list on oh. her messenger via Instagram of the small <laughs> brands. So yeah, I oh, will yeah. do that. Yes. Yep, you don't you don't need to put them together. It's just, you know, cocktails that I've been trying because one of the things is that I could keep on buying fragrances and buying fragrances and because y'all know I done bought a whole bunch since I met Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> My I know Ruth had what was it, the Rose Vanille? Yeah. You mentioned. I was looking for that. Dr. Rose. I was looking for Aoud, what is it? Aoud Men Vanille. Oh, uh all the Manceras. Then Ooh, talking to Ooh, 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 every single day. But what I wanted to do was play with what I had inside of my collection. And that's what I literally wanted a new concoction that I done made. Because my skin, I don't know what it is. A lot of fragrances, like um, everyone likes Chanel Noir. Is that how you say that? Chanel Noir. It doesn't, it doesn't last on me. It really Coco, does. You mean Coco Coco Noir? Noir. Yes, yes. Yeah, it doesn't last on me either. I, I agree. That's true. I, yeah, I don't know why, but everyone else, when they review it, they talk about how long it lasts on them. No, it's not. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful, but it's not long lasting. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I was playing around with my Chanel's because I got enough of them to do so. All right. Debbie, my, turn. Hmm, my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know how Nordstrom, they give you like notes, like if you have spent a certain amount over a period of time because I have a Nordstrom card they'll like give you like $60 or $20 note so uh -huh. this Jimmy Choo I was like let me try this little bottle oh, this wow. smells so good it's peach it is vanilla it's red lily jasmine no red lily jasmine it smells really good but it actually smells a lot like um J'adore the enjoy like the peach they're identical pretty much but it still smells good they kind of copy each new other. Fragrance? I've never seen that bottle before. Yeah, yeah this one just came out. This Jimmy Choo is called I Want You. Oh. Wow. It smells really good, but it smells a lot like others. Right. But it's nice. Okay. I can see how excited y'all are. Huh? So are you going to put the longevity on that one? Y'all, I can't hear both y'all at the same time. It lasts a very, very long time. It has yeah. excellent longevity. Okay. I can smell this for quite a while, like many hours after. Yeah. What'd you say, Dr. Rose? The bottle is different. It's a nice bottle. Yeah, mm -hmm. this the you press here and it comes out right there. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. so look, look over. Like this. It's kind of tacky actually, but I mean it smells good. <laughs> I mean, it's a tacky bottle. You can't say it ain't a tacky bottle. You know, it's the, tacky. The tackiest bottle I've seen was that uh, bottle that looks like uh, the Mr. Uh, Mr. Spring, Mr. That poor bottle. Oh, the Moschino. Yeah. That you clean. Oh, oh yeah. that's the tackiest bottle I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. With all the perfumes I've perfume bottles that I've seen. So I think <laughs> this is much, right? Yes, I'm next, I guess. Okay, so I will. I wanted to talk about the Chanel since we were talking about Chanel tip last Sunday to church. I wore I wore <laughs> the <laughs> Chanel um, Coco Mademoiselle, but the yeah. intense version. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Did I miss something? Put that back up. Put that back up, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> like you stupid. You need to stop. Oh, that killed me. <laughs> What did I miss? I hope okay. ain't nobody named Mildred up in here because he's gonna be us. Yeah, but somebody named Mildred could be watching this. Yes. <laughs> Not everything is no see on the screen. Just remember that. Okay. It's in so, fun, Dr. Rose. Come on now. We love you, Mildred, whoever you are. <laughs> All right. Ruth, Sorry, Ruth. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So I was saying that last Sunday I wore um, Co Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, but the intense version. And because I have all my Chanel's as well, and I've been looking at them, I'm like, I need to start putting them to use. And so I used that one, and I got so many compliments when I was leaving. And also the next day, I could still smell it on my hair. So that one's a really good one, and it's good for this weather, like the colder weather. Yeah. 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 But okay, so since we're talking about masculine scents, this one is unisex. It's um, Next, it's Coco Woods by Next. And I actually got 
Dr. Rose to buy this one, which was after when she said she wasn't going to make any more purchases the same day. But she made a purchase of this. And I think she, she shared it with you guys on one of her lives. But yes. this one is really, really good. Um, I've been mixing it with um, some cocoa-based, like other cocoa-based fragrance, like um, Angel Muse. Yeah. Um, I also mixed it. I can't remember which of them. One of the Tom Fords I mixed it with. And it smells really, really good. Um, this one is basically warm and spicy. It's woody and it's cacao. And it has like five notes. Um, cacao, sequoia, tire flower, sandalwood, and ginger. And I'm really enjoying it now. I, the, you know, the one, one you told me to buy it, I bought mine with the candle. And I still have the candle. Yeah, I need to send it to somebody. Yes. Oh, yeah. Is that... um? Is that one that you found like at Sephora or where can they find it if someone's looking for um, it? Where did you get yours? I think I she's, I got mine from Sephora, but it's discontinued. But she got hers from, which one, was Saks Off Fifth or where did you get yours? Dr. Rose? Uh, I bought mine from uh, Nordstrom The Rock. Jackson Rack. Yeah. 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 Rack. Okay. Why do you say I'm a irritated, uh, uh, Deb? Because, like, on my feed, it says, like, people are being put in timeout, and I'm not doing it, and it's under my name. Uh, I'm not, nobody's putting anybody in timeout. I'm, well, oh, because I have, I do have some people in, in the chat with, uh, yeah, uh, I, I saw that too. Yeah, uh, but, I don't, I don't know who's putting them in timeout. I guess I put L8, whomever that person is. That's I my friend, Jermaine. Come on, huh? y'all. That's my friend, Jermaine. Oh, well, they cannot put you on, uh, uh, if the person is on my channel, they cannot put your people on timeout. They can only put people on, on the on timeout. Well, it's on here. It says Deborah put them on timeout and I didn't do it. So oh. I don't know how it's being done. No, I put them. Deborah didn't. Oh, okay. All right. Come on, y'all. Don't do that. Put them. Okay. All right. Okay. What's the longevity, Ruth? Um, by itself, I would say between six to eight hours just depends on body chemistry. But um, it's if you mix nice with other things, it's been lasting a lot longer because I've been doing a lot of mixing. Okay. Yeah. I it's very good, good, guys. It's very, very good. My it's like a deep, deep wooden sense. sense. It's really nice. It's pretty good. It, and they came with a big candle, too. They send it to the big candle. With, with a big, uh, big candle. Yeah, I didn't get a candle of mine, and I got it when it when before it was discontinued and it wasn't um, on sale, but she got hers. You can get it now um, at a really good price. Oh, All right. Lord. So I'm next, right? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. All right. So you guys know that. Uh, oh, okay. So can I can I uh, sell some of these fragrances, please? Uh, if people want to buy them. Uh, the first one that I have for sale is uh, from... Jean Parfum, I've had them and I haven't worn them, so I'm selling them for twenty dollars and then uh, uh plus uh, eight dollars shipping. So the person needs to send me twenty dollars if they want to buy it. This one Which is one? Cure. Jean Parfum, it's called Cure. Okay. I Wait, I what's it called again? What's the brand? Uh, Jean Parfum, that Jean Parfum from Louisiana. You know, he uh he only sells his perfume. You have to buy them at a certain oh, time. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I have a bunch of them that I purchased and I'm not using them, so I'm just going to uh, auction them off. If people, if, if people want to buy them, just send me a message. I have okay. the Q, I have Virgo, and then I have, uh, I cannot see the name of this one. Oh, I have Essence, and then I have uh, a bottle of Poison that I'm selling, and then I have Bad Glimish Skies Discontinued. If anybody want to buy them, buy it. And I also have a bottle of uh, uh, Loa uh, Bajiari Venezia. If anybody want to buy them, just you know, send me a message and then I'll, I'll sell them uh, to them. So my perfume that I've, uh, I've had in my collection for a while but never opened it, I also opened it yesterday, is one from the Carolina Herrera, the Nawoli Bohem. Uh, it's been sitting here for maybe over five months. I never opened it. Uh, this one has Neroli. It has some citrus uh, notes. It has Indian jasmine. It's a, little, 
it, it smells almost like uh, wood lemon mint from Montera, except wood lemon mint is a little bit stronger. Okay. Uh, than this What's perfume. the name of that one? Huh? What's the name of that one? Uh, Neroli Bohem. Neroli Bohem. Okay. Uh, came out in 2020 uh, uh, from the house. I think that's like uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. I think or twelve that I have. Okay. Uh, one of them is uh, two of them is discontinued already. They stop. They stopped making them already. So I think uh, you know they're rolling them as after two years or three years after they've been out. You know they are bringing them back. You know taking them away out of market. I don't know why, but I guess that's you know. Uh, they were just maybe just a limited edition uh, uh, perfume. Okay. Okay. So that's All five right. bottles. Huh? Five bottles that I have mm -hmm. to to auction off. Yeah. Uh, two, four, six. And then I have also have uh, this one. This is Flower Bomb Jasmine Twist. It's a it's a body oil. It's brand new. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if, if anyone wants to, to buy those, uh, but no, this this one is not twenty bucks though. This is not twenty dollars. The the uh, Virgo the the small portions are twenty dollars. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, we want folks to just message you privately, or do you want to let everyone know how much you're? Yeah, if they want to buy, if, they, if people want to buy them, uh, the these ones are twenty dollars plus uh, eight dollars uh, shipping. I mean, I would have given them away, giving them away, but you know, since I'm collecting money to, uh, to you know, that's my thing that I do every year. So I'm like, I just, I'm as well to sell them and, and recoup some of that money. Twenty dollars each. This one is also twenty dollars. It's a uh, uh, Laura uh, Bajad, Bajadi, but Venezia. Mm -hmm. And then Bas Glimishka, this one is 40. This one is discontinued. This one is a really good uh, amber jasmine perfume. Okay. Yeah. It's discontinued. I just never, I, I haven't reached for it, you know, in, in maybe six months since I've had it in my collection. I'm just, uh, uh, you know, I might as well sell it. And then and will you list one, it for us to see? Like you can huh? list it then. Will you list it somewhere? Yeah, I'll probably just list them uh, on my channel or something on facebook yeah if people are interested in them just uh send me a cash up or something uh don't send it to, to the chat to the chat because they take too much too much out of it from uh from that uh chat thing they take 40 percent so you know i might as well just give it away for free by then right yeah, yeah. uh okay so i have some other stuff i could i can auction auctions off also uh yeah, but we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about it. So we're not here to sell perfume. We're just here to to talk about you know our collection. So okay, so the one that another one that I got, I told you guys I did a, like a small mini haul with Aja Corral because he had a forty percent off discount. So one that I also sampled and loved was a blacklisted number one. Um, What's again, that another indie brand. I'm sorry. What's it called? It's called Blacklisted Number One. Okay. So he has three fragrances in the blacklisted collection, one, two, and three. And this one is more of like your woodier, smokier fragrance. And I know, you know, I like smoky fragrances. Not everyone does. But I think this one's like a grown up, sort of dressed up type fragrance. It just smells really natural. It smells really good. Really good. And I love the brand. So you're going to see another one <laughs> from that. You know what? Let me just do it all together. Okay. So I also got some travel size, um, a travel size of number one as well, but this is a parfum. Um, concentration, so it's a bit more stronger, um, but smells slightly different. But I compared the two the other day, and they're very, very similar. Um, in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have gotten a parfum, but, you know, it is what it is. And then I got the blacklist number two, which is... Um, I just more... have one question for you, young lady. Sorry? I just have one question for you. Yeah. Are you gonna finally tell us how many bags of perfumes do you have? You know, I haven't. I told you, you guys. I'm not gonna let you them. off this chat today until you tell us. No, but I don't know though. I can make up a number, but I don't know. Really? Because I don't count. I have like a bunch in the box there, and then I have these here. <laughs> and yeah, I, I just I don't know. 
If you have to guesstimate, question. how many do you think you have? Yeah, how many? If I have bottles? to guesstimate, I would say I have maybe a hundred and sixty bottles. Okay. I say I say, I, I say add two hundred to that. Two hundred more. <laughs> No, <laughs> she's eclectic, so I don't think no, so. No, I cannot. I cannot. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I have. I would say 160. I don't attack you on every single Andy Burns there. <laughs> no, yeah. just no. like Pam on every single cupcake there. <laughs> No, I don't. No, I don't. Andy Burns, I do not. And just explore, like Deb so. on every single sweet perfumes they are. <laughs> no, okay. I don't no. own all the cupcakes. Well, I don't know about you yet, but. But I showed you my whole collection the last night we spoke. I have a little bit of everything. You have over 3,000. No, it's 200 plus. Okay, Dr. Whoa. Rose, how many bottles do you have? Okay, mine is on Fragrantica. So, you know, those here that I'm, I'm, I'm selling, they weren't listed on Fragrantica because it, there's no name for them. So, uh, but those two are listed, right? When okay. I'm done with uh, selling uh, this, I'm going to have 263. But that's what you said last week. 260. Okay, but you have to understand. Add 200 to that. Every week I give perfumes away, right? Every week I give perfumes away. So whenever I give something away, I remove it from my collection. And then if I add something, it's still the same. Like, oh, for example, no. when I added these two, Ruth, right? I don't know. She's telling. I don't know. If she's telling us the truth. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Okay, I have the highest integrity, so don't don't. don't no, it. I do. I do. I do. I know this for a fact because she. I have her list, like her list, and she does give away a lot of stuff. So I wonder she how. Does. Yeah, that's okay. Thing. She gives she a lot. No one gives no away her, her collection. Her collection is so massive. Please don't do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Please she do not question my integrity. That's uh, 263 bottles. No, yeah. If I give a bottle away and then I replace it, it's still it's still the same amount. <laughs> right? Mm, okay. Because like for example, like, how many did I give away uh not too long ago? Seven bottles, right? And then I bought five. So I still have the same amount when I give away because I, if I add something, I give something away. So the goal is to not go over, over to 65. Wow. I will never go over to okay. 65 because the minute I, I add something, I'm going to give something away. I but I mean, it's it. not like you're not using them. It's not like, I mean, you have like one or two of them that you mentioned you don't use. That's for personal reasons or, you know, historical reasons and stuff. But you're using all of them, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I use all of my perfume. Yeah, so. yeah. I, yeah, I yep. use every, everything that I have. But these two, these three, uh, they have no, you know, they're not part of fragrancing. So I cannot put them on my list. But uh, the goal is not to go over to 65, and I do the same wow. with shoes. If I buy a new pair of shoes, I give one pair away. Yeah, I yeah. don't think, I don't even think I'm past like one, 170, I think. And I'm counting like the little itty bitty stuff like this too, which are all samples. Oh, so, I don't know the things. Yeah, uh, and well, so I that's, I it. don't even have, I don't have that many in my collection. And then again, I just started collecting like a lot of perfumes in the last like year or so, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't count uh, 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 samples, samples that I have because I don't keep them. After I, I try spray them once, I ship them to people who, who, who needs to try them. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not including samples either. But I have a question for you guys. For those who have large collections, if you actually spray, okay, do you think that's why you layer your fragrance so that you can actually use a lot more? Because if we think about it, if you have even 200, that means if you used one every single day, you're only going to use it twice a year. Right. I don't, I don't layer my well, fragrances. I also don't layer my fragrances. I was actually talking to Mike from Naps and Nurture about mm -hmm. layering. And we've come to the conclusion that I'm a purist in lots of things, not just fragrances. But I feel like I need to wear them the way they're meant to be worn so that I can appreciate the, you know, the creation itself. But I know a lot of people do love to layer. And I do have fragrances that I consider layerable. Mm -hmm. But I, it, layering is just not a thing that I typically do. Well, for I your could. collection, yes, I could see that because you have mm -hmm. so many, so many. You're, yours is very eclectic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, because the majority of your fragrances, when you mention them, I don't know anything about them, never heard them. So since so far, I've been taking notes, basically. <laughs> um, I'm serious. Like, yeah. so... The ones that I think I watched uh, Deb's channel, she had a fragrance where she was showing her collection and she had those bottles that look like um, art. Literally. Oh yeah, the little like circles on top. Yes. yes. 
So those I've never seen before. And so when I'm like, okay, let's start. I took a note what those are. So for me, <laughs> good night, Thank Aaron. You for writing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think she's saying good night to somebody else. Good night. To Ivy. No, she's saying good night to Mildred. To so Mildred, yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> good night. <laughs> so they um for me, for me, when I see those fragrances, if it's something I've never experienced before, a lot of times I would want to smell them, I would want to sample them because it's all new. It's not stuff you could just walk into a store and mm -hmm. purchase. So it's not something that um, you could order without actually trying first, unless you're trying from someone else. So for my, for me, I layer. I always say I layer the store per, the store fragrances because yeah. you smell Chanel. Where is he at or she? Uh, L. You smell Chanel. You smell one. Most people say you smell them all, and I did not have a, a liking to them until earlier this year. So. Once I started layering them, trying to see, because all of them have the same DNA pretty much for the most part. Not but all of them. But are you talking about the ones that you can buy at Macy's or are you talking about the, 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 the Chanel? No, the ones that you can buy at Macy's. You remember, I'm in a small city, okay. town right. per se. Okay. So the ones that I smell are the ones that you can go to go to the store here locally okay. you all know, right. and purchase. So I don't have the, the privilege of having a, a Neiman Marcus or a Saks or anything like that near us to walk into a Chanel boutique or anything like that. None of that is here. So what I have is literally what, what you, I guess the basic collection okay. is what I have. So I try layering those trying to, because they don't always smell the way everyone else talks about them. So I like mixing them. So yes, I layer because of that reason. Okay. Yeah, I, I try not to layer my perfumes. Uh, because I don't know. Um, I don't know what laying laying them does. Um, I mean, I use if I have if I have the perfume, I can buy the body lotion, and then I have the body oil. So you know, I wear all of them sometimes together. Sometimes you really don't, you really don't want to. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't try not to mix you know two perfumes together. Hey, spicy. Uh, I try not to mix uh, two perfumes together or anything like that. Uh, Okay, so you were talking about your indie brand perfume, Mina, right? Yeah. I, yeah. 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 I, I finished. Uh, I'm done. So it's uh, Pam's turn. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased that was new to me is clothes. Because, like I said, I didn't do a whole lot of perfume shopping or anything like that. So, and I'm a bargain shopper. So I purchased this. Pleather top, mm. and I purchased this top right here that has Ooh. used to buy um, Mark New York back in the day, like back in the nineties. I want to say Mark New York used to be like a leather maker. You find like leather coats and stuff like that. So I found these actually at Ross, and so I like colorful prints and whatnot. And this one is a leather top, and it has like the puffy, the puffy sleeve. So I figured these will be good. Here it doesn't get too cold. Maybe we get like 30 degrees, maybe. But for the most part, it doesn't get as cold as other cold areas. Though. So <laughs> what's that? Oh, I said 30 degrees is cold, isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah but I'm from Houston, so. We're, we're from yeah. Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. If you get the same yeah. weather yeah. Like, yeah. like Texas, I would say that we would have like four seasons in one day. But for the most part, it doesn't really get that cold here. Sometimes it goes down to 30 degrees for a short period of time. But for the most okay. part, no, it's, it stays, you know, in the 40s, 50s during the winter time. So I didn't have the, I don't really have the need or I, I'm not able to wear my coats or anything like that. So I found those two tops at Ross for under $20. So I like that's the what brown, I found. That to. color of the, the brown top is really nice. Yes, yes. I like it. I've I've never had anything like that. Like, you know, I can't afford a leather to wear a leather top. I don't see I don't even think you find those very often anymore because of, you know, the most so people don't pretty, really buy leather leather anymore. So Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. All right, okay, who's next? next? Deborah's Deb. next. Deborah. Is Deb next? Yes. Yeah. Deborah next. Okay, I got something a little bit different. I got some more perfume, but I got makeup. I know you guys already know about this Ooh. one. 
I had to jump on this one. It's so pretty. I need to learn how to do eyeshadow better, but Kia, if you're listening, you can... Yeah. That's pretty. It's so pretty. And I like the cover on this one. This one was like totally reasonable because her stuff can get kind of up there, but this yeah. one is gorgeous. Is this what Interstellar, I think? Did you get that one uh, during her big sale that she had yeah. going on? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I love this one. Very oh. nice. Yeah, I'm also trying to get into, I actually put on eyeshadow today, but no one compliments me, but it's probably because it's like very, very little. I can see, I very, very very little. Your glasses. Don't need it, don't need it. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty. I was like, today I'm wearing eyeshadow and a bold lip so I can look as glamorous as you guys. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of eyeshadow, but I'm not good at it. So like you said, uh, Kia, Yummy, you need to do some eyeshadow lessons. Tutorial. Ruth, you're a makeup artist as well. We I'm need coming, lessons. When I come to Houston, I'll give it to you. Don't worry. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I can wear eyeshadow. I, I try, but... You look where it looks good. Eyeshadow on. I don't know what you're talking about. I have some on, but it takes, it's it's like, <laughs> it takes, yeah, to, to put them on, it takes forever. But makeup live stream coming. next. Yeah. It's going to be a hot mess. It's going to be a hot mess. What? <laughs> if I'm involved, but it, I think, Pam, I think yeah, it's going to be more. To that, to that well, I know that we have, I think it's, Aaron and Kia and that are actual makeup artists. Okay, yes. And I think Sean might be as well. I just you know, dabble. I like to yeah. play with makeup. Yeah, Sean is really good with makeup. I'll, I'll join with Kia. Yeah, and spicy looks. Thank you, Nisha. Oh my God, Nisha, yes. spicy looks has the best looks. Yes. Her eyeshadow and her lipstick, everything just snatched. Yes. Look. She has the eyes for it too. I mean, you have. I mean, yeah. people with the space. really nice eyelid can get really nice eye makeup. But oh, thank me, you. I have the small eyelids, and then it's it looks <laughs> like a hot mess when I put it on. Yeah, I have hooded. I have hooded eyes, but I can do my eyeshadow. I didn't do it today. I had like ten minutes to do my makeup, but usually I can do mine very well. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any today. Well, you have some on you your channel, pretty. right? Ruth? I have one. Yeah, I have. Oh, I have makeup. Yeah, and I have a lot more coming. I have videos. It's just the editing and getting it out. It's a lot of work. Yeah. And Seven Flower said she wants to be part of it. Because I think she does makeup as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we've got quite a bit of uh, perfume aficionados that are makeup experts on here. Yeah. Okay. So who's next? I think um, you are, Ruth? Ruth, yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, I have like a couple of things here. I don't, can I talk about my like um some that I got from Ross that were fails? Sure. Yeah. Anything goes. <laughs> All right. Well, I have these ones I got. The box looked pretty. You know, in Ross, you can't like look in them. This one is Jones New York Signature and it's Violet Blossom and Sandalwood. This one is Peony and Amberwood. I got these two. Okay. So I probably will do a video on them, but they were fails. And then I also got this is the oldie, like Gloria Vanderbilt, like the oldie. Does anyone know this one? I've seen What's it, but I've never used it. Like, let, let me take out the bottle. Like, it looks like this. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. it was like an oldie. I thought it would be nice, but um, yeah, it just, yeah, it smells vintage. But not that great. And then this one I really like, but I want to try and get the oh, oh yeah, the perfume mm -hmm. version of it. This is um, the cologne, Cantine de Grace. Yeah, but this is the the EDT. I want to try and get the Edith perfume because I really do like it. It's very, it's quite unique. And the perfume was at uh, TJ Maxx. I got this at Ross. Ross. It looks like this. This one yeah. smells really good. I just want it to be a little bit more long lasting. So I want to try and get the perfume version. This one's pretty good. Yeah, that smells good. Yeah, and it's kind of yeah. unique. Yeah. Yeah. What What's did you the get notes on that? Is it you went, um, shopping today? Did you go shopping today? I online. Oh, okay. More makeup. I have a lot of makeup coming. I bet. 
Okay. Well, I mean, there, there's a cell. Uh, who has it? Uh, all the all the makeup stores had cells. Mm -hmm. uh, Juvia's place has a big cell. Mm -hmm. Juvia's place, Pat McGrath. I want to say Charlotte Tillsbury. Yeah. Tillsbury. <laughs> huh? You said Tillsbury. <laughs> Isn't that what it is? <laughs> Tilbury. 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 <laughs> Tilbury. <laughs> Hey, so yes, yeah, she had a sale. I think I saw the email oh. traffic from that, and I want to say, um, what's her name? She um, is a black makeup artist. She was on Beautylish for a while. Denisa, Denisa, Denisa Myricks. Myricks. Yeah, yep. She's got a sale, and then there were a whole bunch of indie brands. I was watching um, Kate the Great and another YouTuber. Um, they were talking about the sales that are upcoming and there's a lot of indie brand makeup talking about indie brand again. I know Dr. Rose don't want to hear about that, but you know, there are smaller okay. brands out there. All right. Um, okay. okay. Let, let me come back to you for a minute. <laughs> Why would I not want to he hear about indie brand? I was just saying that when, uh, when people come, when, when I'm, you know, I am all for everybody who's trying to make a living, regardless of whether you indie, whether you're a big company. Because big companies, they have you know people like me working for them, and the brands they work for themselves. So yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, it's not that I don't want to hear about any brands. I just you know I, I'm you know I'm all for anybody who's trying to make a living. I you know I'm I'm a I'm one of the biggest supporters when it comes to makeup for those any brands because you know I support a lot of them. I buy from a lot of them. It's not that I don't I don't want to hear about it. I'm just saying that you know when we don't just you know say. Hey, I'm gonna support this, you know, this brand, this person because they are an indie brand, and they're talking about the other people who are actually working for those bigger companies who are making a living to feed their kids. Also, that's well, what I when I, when, let me let me correct myself. Okay. So when I talk about indie brands, the only ones I talk about are the ones that I've had experience, and I speak with the individuals. That's how I learned about those individuals. Okay. That brand in particular. So I know Amina has more experience when it comes to that because she's spoken with or with Maya. I can't pronounce her last name. Enjai. Enjai, yes, Enjai. Okay. But I've only had the experience that I've had the experience with and talking and learning about the process. So that's where I'm coming from with the makeup stuff, with the smaller companies. We've had the discussion before, you know, where they're having a hard time. Everybody's having a hard time, but the way that they're creating their stuff, you know, it's not on a big scale level, like say that they can have their stuff like in Neiman Marcus, you know, that type of stuff. Okay. Uh, but, well, the first, I mean, the first person who gave me a, a, a collab was a, is an indie brand. So I'm not against indie brand. Why would I be right. against a smaller company trying to make a living? You know, I have, I'm a, I mean, I have a small business I'm trying, I'm trying to make a living too. Right. So I'm just saying that, you know, uh, I always say, I'm, you know, I want to give everybody a chance because no matter, you could be a big company, you mm -hmm. you know, you still have people like myself, my mom, my dad working for those big companies and they're trying to make a living as well. So that's just my thing. Okay. Who blocked Sean? I'm sorry to interrupt. Who blocked Sean? I did not. Who's Sean? <laughs> Let me make that clear because you were, I did not. I have no idea. Who's, who's Sean? My friend Sean, there was no reason for her to get blocked. I don't know what's going on. Who did the... that? No, please, please don't block anybody in the group. Nobody. It's probably has someone who has um, a, a, who's a moderator on some. I don't have any moderators on my channel, so no one can do that on my side. But maybe it's one of the moderators on one channel. But why though? Whose channel? Like who's moderating? Nobody has a moderator wrench though. Yeah, I don't see anybody with a moderator has a wrench. wrench. And the thing is, like, there are comments on my feed under my name that I'm not writing. So I'm, we need to. Like, I'm writing and I'm seeing mine written. Well, I, I, I know why that is. I can explain why that is. It's because on StreamYard, on StreamYard, when you are under the chat, if you click on the little uh, icon there, it says all destinations. It says all. So when you post a comment through StreamYard, it posts on every single person's YouTube oh, channel yeah. as themselves. Yeah, I so that, I changed yeah. mine to my name. So if you okay. click on the button and you click on your channel, your chats will go as your name and not everybody else's. Yeah, mine is on my name. But I don't there know. There are why. multiple comments under my thread that I didn't write. Like somebody blocked two of my friends already. Um, there are comments, just somebody told Yummy no. I didn't write that. Like nope. something needs to yummy be. Yummy asked the question. 
Yeah, I mean, but it's under my it. name. No, no, no. It's under everybody's name. Yeah, it's going yeah, under everybody's name. Yeah, yeah. Deb, I'm typing on my iPad under my name. But it comes under, I'm not trying to get sidetracked, but I can see that it shows my name telling her no. It shows my name blocking Jermaine. It shows my name doing all these things that you might be doing. My name. But so, who, so, whoever writes a comment, it goes under all of our names. all, it all, goes under all of our names. Yeah. But I there's write, a way to fix that, is what I'm saying. There's a way to fix it. Before you okay. chat, if you're chatting on StreamYard and not on your actual YouTube channel, it'll go on everybody's. But you know, I think Pamela was asking a question and then Pamela was trying to, do it to, to answer her. To answer yeah. it, yeah, because yeah. I answered it on my iPad. That's but what are I you answering it? Name. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And maybe a glitch and maybe some sort of, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What 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 she asked? Did she ask a mean question, Pam? And then you you just no no, no 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 no. She okay. just asked who blocked Sean, and I said no. Oh she okay. Sean got blocked. That was her question. Who's Sean? Sean My is friend. our friend. I'm... Sean Sensi Mama. Oh, I didn't even see his name there. Her it's her name. name. Oh, her name. Okay, sorry. Yeah. No, I would. So no. no, no. People cannot black people. They can put them on timeout. But why are the, why are people doing it? I did it? not That's do happened. that. I did yeah, not do I that. Don't, I don't even see how you're able to do that. Okay, here. guys, this is very this is very professional. So can we please go? Uh, get but it's back actually to happening. Yeah. So we have to address it so it doesn't keep happening. We it's can't happening. act like it's not happening. Okay, who's blocking? Whoever's blocking people or whoever's putting people on timeout, please stop it. Well, I will say and, that I'm not doing it, and I don't think and anybody people else is doing it. We did have, we did have, I don't know if we were on the other night when we were on with Naps on his channel, we did have comments that were being deleted and things of that nature going on while we were on his live. I don't know if you remember that. So it can happen, but I'm just saying I'm not doing any of that. I'm commenting or commenting on my iPad under my channel. Do you think it's um they're able to do it um stream yard no I amina was there that night when it was occurring yeah 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 uh, just comments are just getting blocked and then um well, so depending on who owns the channel some people can can put some comments that they think you know needs to be reviewed it goes into the review section okay, okay. yeah that's probably what's happening yeah, yeah. because sometimes i mean one time i think i wasn't alive with it was me uh uh and uh Lulu and someone else, and then someone came in and was calling you Lulu some names. And so what I did, I went on my channel and then I, I, I put some stuff, you know, certain things that when people, you know, because every time I post a video, you know, there's a guy who comes and put, you know, uh, to see cute girls or something like that, naked girls on my video. I always put those, you know, for people to, uh, to go, you know, uh, for people to, for me to review them. So maybe that's what's happening now. Yeah. But you know, technical dif difficulties happen. So okay, so you know what, uh, 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 Sean, we apologize uh, if that's happening to you. And then hopefully, Sean is back in the live now, right? I don't yeah. see her. The last I comment she made, she was talking about makeup. Okay, hi, uh, 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 Raj Kumar Mar Singh. Thank you for being here. Hi, Andy Sense. So she said yes, it happened. So I yes. Don't and nap nap yes she was on that night it happens deborah nobody nobody's doing right so that yeah. happened because i made a couple of comments and i'm like hey how come you guys aren't answering my comment and that happened so it can happen it can happen i yeah, mean you know, let's just remember that you know these are tech technology you know uh human we created technology so you know they do you know, mistakes uh, do happen all right what's uh What's the next I think uh, topic? I think so have you won your hers. Hers. I shall do your debt debt hers. So it's now your your turn, Dr. Rose. Is it my turn? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. All right. So how many guys, how many of you can guess how many bun perfumes I have? One number nine. Didn't you say like 26? How many? No, you had more than 26. that. 26. You said 26? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm just guessing. I don't know if that's true. But am I, right? I don't have that many. Okay, I'll 16. say 10 or 12. You no, can only guess that. one. 10. Uh, no, okay. I think she has more than 10 because I remember her saying she had a big one. Is that the show you're talking about, Deb? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that the show you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. She wasn't gone. If she's back. Yes. She's back now. Yeah. So nobody, I guess nobody black her because if she was back, she wouldn't be about to come back, right? She was put so in time out, but we shouldn't be discussing this. We'll move on. Okay. Oh, Sean, if you're put, put on time out, uh, uh, sorry, uh, somebody, if somebody put you on time out. Okay. All right. So I have 20 bottles of bond number nine. Wow. Yep. Uh, Shannon Allen, uh, Allen said 28. Uh, Shannon said 28. No, Shannon, I, I wish I had 28, but no, actually, I don't wish I had 28 because I'm running. Uh, Nika Max says 10. I'm running out of space already in my uh, cabinet. It's not that I'm running out of space, I think I have space to put. What happened to Ruth? Oh, what happened? She'll did come back. Die, maybe? She'll, She'll come, come back. back. She did earlier. She'll come back. Okay. Uh, so I'm afraid that my cabinet will break because someone said that they think that the glass will, will the glasses will cave in. Uh, so I have, so this one is indigo. Uh, it's one, this is like pure uh, winter perfume for the, you know, for the winter. Uh, Michelle said 12 or 16. <laughs> So uh, Indigo was created in 2015. It has lychee. Uh, Berg, have you guys ever smelled lychee? Taste, uh, yes. Lychee? It's, it's yeah, smelled it, but I'm not in. Uh, I've never smelled. That it's really, one. it's really prevalent in uh, in Hawaii. Uh, it has peach, bergamot. It has peony, jasmine, orange blossom, uh, white moss, amber, agarwood, and oak. Milk. You know, I've had this for this. Actually, this is my first one. That's my first one from the Dubai line, and uh, I haven't uh, used it. But I'm waiting for the winter. Uh, but I've given some of it uh, out. I'm waiting for the winter uh, to to use this one. It's very it's very strong. But, uh, you oh oh, device is connected. Okay, Ruth, what happened to you, Ruth? Did you put yourself in timeout? I don't know. I somebody did. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Somebody did. I don't know. <laughs> Deb, I know you want to laugh, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> the same person. It's the same person, Deb. It's the same person. Yeah. Okay. Somebody's okay. having a really Continue. fun time. <laughs> Continue, Rose. <laughs> They've yep. hacked this. They've hacked this. Uh, so, hold, hold on. So, uh, Shannon said, I wore Indigo in the summer. I got lots of compliments. Oh, you were in the summer, uh, 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 Shannon. I, I, okay. I think it's more like winter because it's, you know, it's a it's a beautiful floral, but it's kind of strong. This is why I was thinking more like for winter, but maybe I should try to wear it next summer. But I'm gonna wear it this winter because I need to, you know, I have a few things in my cabinet that my perfume collection that I really need need uh, to wear. Uh, so but you know this one, I mean, I'm happy to share a tester with you, ladies, if you guys wanna wanna try it. I think I've, the only time I've ever smelled those is actually in the boutique at Aventura. I've never like purchased them or anything like that. So. And, which, uh, you know, not Trump stops carrying them. Oh, they not did. Trump, yeah, not Trump doesn't carry. If them. I'm not mistaken, I think I talked about them being a full. I saw them on TJ Maxx online, though, not not in the store. The, the online. Online? Not that one. Not oh. the the special ones, just the regular, the one with the cherry blossoms on it. I think I saw, uh -huh. and then okay. a green bottle. I've seen them on TJ Maxx before online. The green bottle one is really nice. Mm -hmm. The one with the green bottle is the jade. Jade is super super nice, and I have that okay. one. So Shannon says she has citrine. I don't have citrine, citrine, uh, uh, Shannon, because uh, I I didn't think I needed another citrus perfume in my collection, uh, but. Uh, and this is uh, uh, that uh, something is acting up tonight. StreamYard is acting up tonight. So I think it's StreamYard that's actually putting people in timeout. All right, who's next? Me. Yes, I mean, I want to. Um, you have another indie brand to tell us about? Of course, obviously. <laughs> I love um, it. Pam earlier talked about um, Charlotte, Charlotte, what? Tillsbury? Tillsbury. <laughs> <laughs> the lipstick I'm wearing is actually from her. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the first lipstick I got from her. And it's uh, okay. Love Liberty. Oh, that's pretty. Just in case anyone's wondering. Okay, so that's I think pretty. this is actually the last fragrance that I'm going to share. 
And it's the one that I just received um, sometime, what are we in? I think on Monday or Tuesday. And it's from Meleg. If you guys are familiar with him on um, Instagram, he's very active there, Matt Meleg. Uh, this one is called Civet Cat Sheep. And yes, you might be thinking, why do I want to smell like a civet cat? But it smells delicious. It civet smells cat? Civet cat sheep. So it has civet in it. But I wouldn't say it. I know you have some fragrances that have civet in it. Nope. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. How about memoir? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot. I think all of us have fragrances that have civet in it. But this is not as animalic as you think it would be. Okay. Honestly, because I was expecting it to be like, whew, because I, I really got it out of curiosity, but I really do love it. It's, um, I mean, the bottle is really cute and super vintage looking, and that's kind of his whole, like, thing, his whole spiel. Um, yeah, this is really great. It has a lot of oak moss in it, some fruity notes in it as well, uh, but not like a candy, fruity cocktail type fragrance. But it, to me, it's very sophisticated. Very nice for any time of the year, and I'm really loving it. This is very new to me, um, and I hope to wear it a few more times, but it is beautiful. Okay, so how do, how do you find out about all these brands? How do you find yeah. out about them? I mean, a lot of it is on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. A lot of them on I'm, Instagram. I'm a That's dummy when it comes to Instagram. Huh? I'm a dummy when it comes to Instagram. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if he's on Facebook, but I know he uh, Matt himself is on some facebook group i don't know if he's on the in the perfume corner though but i've seen him at, i think in one other i can't remember the name um but i think he's more active on instagram for sure do you know we have 76 people watching us right now listening to wow us? no did not know that yeah, yeah. That's 76, and we have one like on facebook oh wow <laughs> facebook. thank you facebook thank you guys, don't thank forget you, <laughs> To like to like you know like the 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 the, the chat for whichever uh yes please hit the like buttons yeah please yeah. Hit the Somebody like buttons that of mine yeah see that cat chip yes it's it's honestly it's stunning it's stunning the very bottle, classic, the very bottle reminds me of either an uh Nishin bottle or a bottle of uh fragrance du bois I have a mini fragrance du bois <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that one? This is a uh, oud blue intense. Is it good? That's the only one that I actually like. Okay, I'm also yeah. about getting the orange and the oud orange intense. A lot of people love that one, but I haven't tried it though. I, I have that one here in the house. house. People recommend oh. as well. Which one? Yeah, the oud, the one you mentioned, the oud yeah. orange intense. I hear a lot of folks recommending it. Yeah. Okay. I think it's gonna be too fruity for me. Okay. So, but maybe you I should try, try it. Give it to Deb because Deb uh, lo loves uh, sweet perfumes. Have you tried any fragrance to Bois, Deb? I have one. I here. have. It was sent to me. I don't. I haven't tried them yet, but I, I have the whole thing. So. Oh, nice. What? Wh what? Yeah, it was sent to me from the brand. When? When were you gonna share that? <laughs> it's on my Instagram. <laughs> You got That's the whole, whole, whole thing. Yeah, but not full bottles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Oh. <laughs> full bottles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you're talking. Okay. Yeah. Uh Nika said she likes uh old John Intense. Uh I only have one. I have the uh uh Santa Complet, which was a completely waste of money because it doesn't last. At which all. one? I wish you came to me and asked me before you bought that one because I own that one and I just thought it was very meh and I tried to work with it I and I ended up I swapped it for this one actually that's how I got this one I swapped it the bottle is beautiful though it can be uh, the so bottle's stunning. It can be... but the fragrance is very mm. yeah but it's okay are you gonna keep it oh uh, yeah okay mm, yeah I'll keep it until I, I don't know what to do with it then maybe I'll just give it in a giveaway or sell it that's a good giveaway <laughs> uh, sell it uh um to do something with the money you know yeah because next year you know after covid i gotta go back to the women's shelter where i usually uh, uh work work at the women's shelter once a month so i think i'll be traveling to chicago every, every once a month after covid once covid is over over with so i might just you know take it then give it to one of the ladies you never know 
Yeah. Talking about that last night on um on another channel, one of our friends she had her live last night. Lulu had her live, and there was somebody on there that was talking about how they can donate to to um to shelters like your makeup and those type of things, which I didn't know that they took those items at the shelter. So that's they, one they, of the they, they yeah. take clothes and, and stuff and mm -hmm. not just the clothes but like makeup you can donate fragrances you can donate those items to the shelter so she said that that's what she normally does i didn't yeah. know you can do that yeah you but. can i mean you have to remember that these women that you know they leave i mean these actual women with husbands who actually you know beating them up and never know that they've been you know abused right and they uh they go to the shelter sometimes with the clothes on their backs Mm, yeah. Uh, and so anything that people can do to help them out, you know, is yes. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. That's really nice. Really good to know. Yeah. I uh I mean I when I go there I, I teach uh self defense. Uh and then I also uh teach uh, Microsoft uh, uh uh Word PowerPoint and Excel and interviewing techniques to help them get back into into the you know the work world to help you know to get back to work and things like that. And I do the, help them with their resumes. Uh, I don't enjoy doing it, but uh I don't want to enjoy going there to see the faces of those women and those children, but when I go there, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm giving back to, you know, to another that's woman. Ministry, I mean, yeah, that's a very good ministry. Yeah. But because of COVID, I haven't been able to go. And then mm -hmm. since I moved here, so uh, I'm moving once COVID hits. So because I used to go once a month and do all these things once a month for a weekend, so I'm planning on doing it again right right after I get my back my vaccination. And that's one of the reasons why I need to get that vaccination so I can go back and do. The things that I do, you know, do for people, for, right. like, for women. Okay. Yep. So, so I think Pam, you're next. next. Huh? I think Pam's next. Pam is next. Yes. Show us, so, your, show us your cupcake, Pam, since you're a married woman with a husband. You see, you keep coming from my neck. <laughs> <laughs> you can't come on. I have you a black black hair 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 hair. So that's uh, more. What was that? Nothing. Oh, oh, what do you have? Uh, oh, you were, you were chopping again. No, I didn't. You said it the last two weeks. Huh? You said in the last two weeks. You said in the last two weeks. So I picked up some, well, you know, I shop at TJ Maxx and I shop. Before, our dealers here closed down. So all we have is uh, the JCPenney. So we got to drive ooh, about an hour and 45 minutes to the city in order to get items. And they have like a Mac inside of the dealers out there and so i picked up um again this is for the giveaway and stuff like that so i picked up brow pencils lip liners when is and, the giveaway huh when is the giveaway i haven't decided when the date is i think it's important that um i make sure that i say that the reason i'm putting these all random in my opinion random items together is so that if somebody wants if they receive the giveaway or when they because I, last time i did three people so this time i'd like to do five and so that way they can if they choose to give to somebody else it's in giftable condition you know what i mean mm -hmm. okay. instead of samples they could give somebody a bottle of perfume or if they have a daughter or whatever you give them like you know a lip liner and i every, Everybody I know likes um, chestnut. Lip Chestnut's liner. a staple. It's a black girl staple. And then um, spiked uh, eyebrow pencil. Everybody need, needs chestnut in your life. <laughs> and yep. so, and then I have what is this? The this is something that I'm not good at, which is putting on mascara at my base lashes. Mm -hmm. And so I got uh, the extended because I I heard everybody say it's a good mascara for the bottom it's lashes. Great. It's called uh, Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Yeah, I love that one. And yeah, and it's a really it's got a really tiny brush. I bought one for myself, and I bought one to put into the, to the giveaway. So I bought those random items, and then I have. Is that, hold on, is that L'Oreal? No, Mac. It's Mac. Mac. Okay. Mm hmm So no, no. Why I call you the buyer? Why? Duh. You're stocking, <laughs> you're stocking up. <laughs> and then the last thing I got, and I only found one of this, and this is a um, eyeliner, which the gentleman that um, he said that this is, it was with a, they don't make them anymore, but it's called Orf 
or thesis. And I have one of these and it's like a dark, I like green eyeliners, That's but it's a really dark green eyeliner and has just a tiny amount of glitter in it. So I picked it up because he said it's hard to come by. So I went ahead and picked it up. And then I went to Ulta and I picked up um, these two. Ulta had their sale. I don't know if you guys were tracking that they had their sale throughout the week or whatever. Yeah. Or the, yeah. So I picked up two of their brushes, the buffer brush, which looks like this. It's a short one with the hair looks long. So it could be like a powder brush or like a body bronzer type of thing. And then this one is one of the staples. They said that it's like for foundation and this one is a foundation brush. So I picked those two up and then, and I picked up some Sephora brushes because Sephora brushes was also on sale. So I picked those up as well, like the concealer brush and, and um, yeah, so a whole bunch of brushes and stuff. So I would like to make, you know, like um, when we were working in buildings per se, how when you go in, they have like, they're trying to raise funds for like a ball or something like that. What they would do is put baskets together and auction mm -hmm. them off mm -hmm. kind of thing. So what I'd like to do is put like little baskets together and put perfumes in it, like the Prada candy in it or the um, the ones that I got last week, which was a Jessica Simpson fancy in it, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. So that the intent is that when that those individuals win that, that they have the opportunity to gift someone else, because we were talking about people not working. Like I have family members who haven't worked since like February. So that's the intent of that. Someone, someone asked a question here. Is uh, Feb Delicious uh, similar to Dior Attic? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I've never smelled it. Yeah, no. Not at all. I have both of them, and I wouldn't put them in the same category at all. Uh, Dior Attic is very, very strong, and Feb Delicious is, is, you know, they call it delicious for a reason because it's a delicious so it's Yeah, it's totally different. But I've heard that Feb Delicious has been discontinued for the last two years. I've oh. been doing that forever, and then they still have it. Hey, Nathan. Hi. 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 Yeah. Okay. It's time for you to go so, back. Uh, uh, good night, night. Question for you. Where can they buy the makeup? Okay. Um, try Lucky Scent, sweetie. Yeah. I want to choose Lucky it. Scent. Yeah. Okay. And I need to buy a backup bottle. Does Lucky Scent ever have, like, sales? No. They have Afterpay, though, which is equivalent. Girl, you know I'm not going to have to pay for my Afterpay? They never have to pay, but they give you free shipping. Yeah, because the Afterpay is linked to your account. I hear yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. But then it's which, been in stock for a while. Right now, so. Which you don't have uh, right now. Uh, she doesn't have an account, remember? The, 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 right. She got Skype. <laughs> I'm on strike. I'm in time. Well, I don't go anywhere. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, so it's, who's next? Okay. I think Deb's next. Deb's next. Hey, that's more yeah. makeup for y'all. This is a good one. Okay, I don't okay. mess with ColourPop okay. too much, but this is so pretty, y'all. Y'all gotta see this. It's you called Forest. It's the same. It's the box. I just oh. like. The box. Oh, it's like you got two. <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> now it's, just, it's like, look how pretty that is. Oh, that oh, is blue. blue. It's really nice. Yeah. Look at the blue and the green. Yeah, the blue and the Yo. green and like the red. Wow. So I like that. It's very fall. Are they all mattes or is it shimmer wow. in there? The gold and these two are shimmer and then the, the gold and that gray are shimmer and then the rest are matte. Okay. This one's really pretty and cheap. It was like 20 something bucks. It was, it's really nice. Mm. I like the gold. Is that, that an ultra? Like that. Yeah. Oh, look at the, even the cover is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Colourpop. They're really good. Like Actually, I'm, the uh, eyeshadow I'm wearing today, they are Colourpop, the, the single ones. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I bought a bunch of them. Uh, maybe last year. Those are pretty. Okay. Yeah, and I've yet yeah, to, like wear, to wear all of them. Could you type the name in the of the palette, or maybe you can text it to me because I like I really like yeah. the look of that one. Okay, let me. I'm gonna put it in the. I have a list, like a glowing list here, y'all. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel bad for that debit card. Those people knew what they were doing. They were saving you. They, they were trying to help you out. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, they were they were really helping you out. Okay, at Forest. At Forest site. Let me take a picture because I'm gonna forget. Okay. It's really cute. Yeah, I like that. And how do you find the performance on it? Is it like it's like excellent. I mean, because there's there was a young lady on YouTube. This is her thing. She's a makeup artist who has like her own channel, and then they collabed with her, and like it's so nice. 
who, who, they put out palettes like every week, but this yeah. is like a really good one. Is that yeah. um, Raw Beauty Christie's palette? Yep. I used to watch Blonde her hair. all the time. Yes, that's her name, Christy. Okay. I know, we're enabling each other. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, I need to step out for like one quick minute, and then. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, oh, you you start. You can talk about yours. Uh, I think it's Ruth's turn. Mine. Yeah, okay. Ruth, yeah. I'll be back. All right. Um, I'm gonna talk about two that I received recently. This one I won is a giveaway from Dr. Rose's one of her lives. The one she did with Aaron, and oh, then okay. Aaron sent this to me. Oh no, I think it was after. It was another one, but um I got this. And then I also won this with the one she did with Erin. And that is the okay, this is the solar notes, like the new ones. I haven't gotten the chance to test it out. The Lilique, I have seen the bottle and I spritz it on myself before going to bed one night, but I still have to like sit with it and see if I really like it. But I love the bottle. Um now the one I want to talk about <laughs> is this one. I got a lot of these for my birthday. So this is another one. I showed you guys the Oud one, but this is liquid diamonds. And everyone talks Ooh. about how it smells like porn. clean laundry. But it's more than that. So much more than that. This is gorgeous. So mm. I've been I have been going to bed in this like, lately. That is it's so really, pretty. Really good. Like my whole sheets smell like this. I really love the smell of this. So it's long lasting. Um not like I would say six hours, but um, you can, yeah. But if you spray it in your clothes, it lasts longer. So, like, I wear it to bed, so it's on my sheets, it's on my oh, yeah. pajamas, and it's just like, oh my god, I just, yeah, I have a review, <laughs> so I'm not give too much away. But this is gorgeous. There's one more that I really wanted, but it was sold out when I got it from the website, the mm -hmm. Victor Rolf website, then. But um, I also got the tester, like, all of the testers, the seven of them. Oh, so I'm gonna be testing out to see the other ones I want to get because I know they sometimes have the the 50% off sale, which I missed. I paid full price for this, like 145. Oh, wow. But um, they have them for maybe 80 dollars from Macy's or the Victor. Like from time to time, they'll have it. So yeah, um, but okay. I have them here. And the one I want to really try is Dancing Roses. That was the one I wanted, but it was sold out. So. I actually didn't care for Dancing Roses myself. Oh, really? But I think it has like a cherry note in it. Yeah. I don't like cherry. I love cherries, oh. but not in my fragrances. So. Okay. I'm going to test it out in the sampler and see if it works in my. Sometimes, you know, things work with your body chemistry and some don't. So I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. the oud that I got, that one is like very Easternized. Like the, the oud one of this brand, it's very Western. Eastern. Easternized? Oh, Westernized. Is westernized, <laughs> yeah, it's westernized, not like the Middle Eastern one, yeah, it's very westernized, so it's like a airy oud. I never okay. knew it was something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but it's good. I, like it. I have them since was the W to open it. I, oh, bought yeah, them really? I bought two of them on sale when, when this is at the big sale. Then I can I, I buy I one? one, huh? Maybe I should buy one then from you. No, I sold one already, and I have one. Oh, yeah, okay. I haven't had yet to open it. It's been since I think right during COVID, they was they had a big sale. Oh, ladies, I know some of you already know, but um, you know how you enter the giveaways? I got the Kayali one, and I'm oh, getting like, all of all of their Congratulations. yes. I'm getting she's sending me. I'm getting probably I don't even know how many total, but a lot. Like all the ones I wanted to get for Black Friday, I, I'm getting all of them. The whole collection, whole one. Yeah, thank you. And the hairspray, laptop, like a laptop case, a travel spray, is a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Wow. When See, I never won giveaways. It, well, when they yeah. posted, it, by the time yeah, they posted I'm it, it, giveaways, I guess. By the time they posted that sale, almost all those fragrances that everyone recommended yes, were, gone. were gone. Yes, yeah. I wanted the vanilla one, and then I was thinking, like, should I get the elixir because that's the next one that they had that was starting to sell out, and then like. I looked on my Instagram like minutes later and I had won all of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't even know what Kali is. What is that? Oh, that is wow. What? That is um, like the, the founder of Huda Beauty. She has like a perfume line called Kali. Okay. I like Huda Beauty makeup. Yeah. I love so the foundation. She has, yeah. She has Kali, which is the perfume line. Okay. Okay. Well, now the um, 
Dev. Oh, you got Debbie answered. But now the mm. order is all messed up. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whose order is messed up? The order of when how you our came back in, we switched places. Oh, it's still the same it? thing. It's just going the other way. Like it's still the same thing. Okay. Oh. Okay. No. <laughs> no. 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 It's worse now. It was better. Okay. <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> How are you doing this? <laughs> okay. I think she's removing an thing. All right. Now we know who now we know who's the messenger. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. No, no, no. Oh, I just, I, I, we just can yeah. do because it's on the bottom. Don't play with me. It's on the bottom of the of the thing. Just well, add it's and out remove. Of order. We were good before. I think all of us are playing with our iPad, which we can't do what you're doing with our iPads and our phones. No? Okay. <laughs> okay wait, I, th I think I can do this. Wait. Okay, take this. <laughs> Who did you remove? <laughs> okay. All right. Leave it. Just leave it. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Amina, is it you or is it Dr. Rose? I was Ooh. just doing it just now, like moving the she screen. She tried to do, she tried to see. No, I mean, like, like who's, whose turn is it? Oh, I think it was uh, Dr. Rose's turn. Is Somebody's asking good? where you got your palette from. She answered yeah. already. She answered oh, yeah, from ColourPop. Okay. ColourPop. Okay, so I have some, uh, uh, have you guys heard, heard of uh, Makeup Bamoyo? Yes. Yeah, my yeah. yeah. Isn't that the Kardashian makeup artist guy? Yeah, Kim Kardashian's yeah. makeup artist, yeah. Uh, so, uh, remember that eyeshadow I was one last week and I showed you guys uh, with the blue and stuff? Yes. It was from uh, uh, that Kat Von D. Kat Von D. The blue one was the, 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 the makeup, the, all the other color were really good, but the formula from the blue was just horrible. It did not stay on. Oh, really? Yeah. So I took it back. Mm -hmm. And they only sell that for like eight bucks. I, can, I guess they knew, they knew that you know, it wasn't good. So I took it back and I bought this one. This uh, it's a it's a, a quad from Makeup by Mario. Okay. And look, it's so beautiful. It's it's a nice little white thing. And then look at the colors. Mm. Oh, they look vibrant. Yeah, it has uh, that blue, that teal, and then kind of like a pewter color and a, and a silver. Mm -hmm. so I need to I look with this. I don't, know how, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but you know, I'll be able to, to do this one. I like it. So I got that one, and then there's a new uh because I have really I have combination skin oily and, and dry, and uh and so I uh got the new uh matte foundation from Too Faced. Oh, I've been curious about that one because I, I like the original one, but no, again, I I'm one. also oily. So mm -hmm. that one really doesn't stay on my skin, but it's so beautiful. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. so I, I ended up getting this one in, and I was like, well, I need to get the powder. Uh, <laughs> well, you didn't need to so, get it, but. Yeah. yeah, but you got it. <laughs> huh? No, but because remember, I, I cannot find a powder to fit me because uh, whenever the weather changes. Oh, okay. Yep. You get lighter. I get lighter. And then when it's in, in summertime, I get darker. Mm -hmm. And I'm an outdoors person, but I haven't been outdoors uh, in almost A two weeks now. <laughs> so, I mean, this, that's, that's the only makeup that I have that's new. And uh, I almost bought, because of Pam, I almost bought like 280 years of lipstick. That is not night. true. I told you don't do it. I told you you can find sales. Oh, the lies you told. <laughs> Now everyone oh. knows that Dr. Rose, nobody can tell Dr. Rose not to buy something because then she's gonna buy it. And I did not, I did not. Okay. Uh, I was looking for magenta lipstick and then she, uh, Pam was telling me all these yeah. other lipstick to buy. And yes. I ended up only buying one. I only bought right. one, just one from my- uh, Because if you guys, if you guys I like Pat McGrath stuff, what happens is when Sephora has their sale, Pat McGrath has her 30% off, right? But you couldn't go on Sephora and Sephora could also have like um, the palette that Deb has, there's a smaller one that came out before that. And that one was marked down, but it wasn't marked down on the Pat McGrath side. And then there was okay. some lipsticks that was on Sephora that was marked down that wasn't, you know, marked down. So I was just giving her options. You know, that's what mm -hmm. I was doing. I didn't tell her to buy nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it <laughs> translates everything you say to purchase. Like that was what yeah. happened with the cocoa. I only, I only purchased one lipstick, one. I wanted a magenta lipstick, and I mean not magenta, a uh, fuchsia lipstick, and then I, that's what I ended up buying. So does that mean the order changes now since uh, 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 Deb? Uh, I think Deb so. Now with Samina. Well, typically, usually it's my turn. I guess I'll go. Well, I I've run out of fragrances to talk about, so I'll just talk about the makeup that I'm wearing today, because I'm no one really. I mean, a few people complimented, but like. I actually worked hard That's on this. Samina, you look beautiful as you do. <laughs> Thank you. You look gorgeous, Samina. Great I started job. doing my makeup two hours before the live, okay? Wow. I wish wow. I had this. Two man. hours of work. Okay, so I I don't I, is this still a thing? What's what is that? that? This is the Dior Air Flash. Oh my gosh. Is yes, this still it is. A thing? Okay. Yes. So I got mine, I think about a no, it hasn't been a year. It hasn't been a year yet. But I really love this. But this is the darkest shade. Again, what does it do? what does it do? it's a foundation, but like aerosol. It's like a spray. I don't want to spray it. Oh, but okay. Let me see. Where's my sponge? I don't want my sponge. Let me dirty your clothes. Well, I actually I spray it on a sponge and then I apply or a brush. Okay. But today I use a sponge. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is in the shade six hundred, and it is the darkest shade, which is silly. Wow. Um. Yeah, but they don't have many options but this one's really nice i love this it rarely mm -hmm. transfers and it's so light like i can't feel mm -hmm. it on my face which is why i really love it pretty um yeah i don't know if this is uh like more expensive than some of the other dior ones i think it's about mm -hmm. the same price i think but yeah I, I i recommend this i don't know if it's a it's not matte i don't think i think this is like a natural finish type thing but yeah this you is the a good thing. long wear on it Pretty much, yeah. You get long wear, like all day wear? Yes, okay. pretty much. Um, but for me, I feel like I get pretty good wearing out of almost all foundations that I wear. Mm -hmm. I don't find them to ever break down or anything or clump up on my skin. The only thing is that the oil will come out eventually. But if I blot, everything is good. I, I don't have, I think I only had one or two problematic foundations. One of them was the... Uh, hourglass one the liquid one that one i don't know what they were mm -hmm. trying to do with that one and i can't <laughs> remember the other one you don't stop them huh don't stop them what with the hourglass oh <laughs> <laughs> well i'm not a fan of their their skin stuff and also their shades are whack anyway um so yeah this one's pretty good so you just spray yeah. it and then use it as a, as a foundation. I'm trying to, okay, yeah. So here's my sponge. So I use this sponge and I just spray it like, like that, and then just oh, okay. put it on. Oh, okay. And then um, well, you put it guess, over the foundation or, or, or before the as a foundation. This is my foundation. That's a oh, foundation. Yeah. yeah, this is my foundation. Um, okay. And I don't find it to be like it's just really lightweight. I think you can layer it. I just do one light layer all around, and I'm okay with it. Um, mm -hmm. For my, I'm not gonna go into concealer and stuff, but I know Pam may be a fan of this one. I use this for my blush today and my highlighter. Actually, is that the? Um, it's the Bloom. The Bloom, yes, that's yeah. the high. So I use this one as a highlighter. I don't know if the light's not really showing it very well. This color as a highlighter. Color the mirror. Yeah, okay. I'm not. I don't know how to do this. This is my first time, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but I use this one as the as a highlighter and then a little bit of that one, which are both greens as a blush. Oh, that's pretty. But I love this palette. So I don't Who know if it's how many Who makes it. Oh, this is old. I have this forever. Who makes it? Natasha, Natasha Denona. Denona. Okay. It looks nice. Yeah. And I'll then do. I'll just talk about the eyeshadow and then I'll be done with the makeups. Uh, I use this eyeshadow palette, which is the NARS Skin Deep. Mm -hmm. It's been out for a while. I've had this for a while too. But it's like a neutral. How do I? How do I focus? Okay, it's like a new. Let me do like this. Yes, there we it's go. It's like a neutral kind of kind of cool tone shadow with mostly mattes and just a couple of or a few um, shimmers. Mm -hmm. And I use this shade in my crease. I feel like a beauty. Let me let me grab something. I use this one for my crease, and then this. I think I use this one. This one on my lid, this one on the outer corner, and this one on the inner corner. And that's how I got to look at you can barely see because I wear glasses and also I put very little on. 
So yeah, that's you look me. beautiful though. You Thank do you. look beautiful. Yeah. I appreciate and what, what, as what, always. What, what's giving you that glow? What's giving you that glow? It's this one from Natasha Denona. It's uh, yeah. probably the highlighter. This one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a cream, so I just stuck my finger in it and then mm -hmm. just like. Dab it. Okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Did they still sell this one? I don't yes. know. They do. Yes. Okay. You know who makes one? Or who used to have one like that? It's uh. What's that lady we were just talking about? That Kayali lady. Uh, Huda? Uh, Huda, yeah. Huda used to have one like almost like that. Yeah, I think I actually have that one. Uh, I think it's if I can grab it. I'm from okay, the highlighter. It? It. <laughs> like this one? Yes. Yeah, I love this one too. But I rarely wear it. But she has like, I think yeah. this is the cream version, and then all of these are very beautiful. I love this. I haven't seen that one in a while. Yeah. I, I, I used to be obsessed with highlighter. I want to say she has, highlighter. speaking about their site has a huge sale going on right now. And I think that um, that one is one of the items that's on sale. I know her nice. palettes are. Not the new palette, but the rest of them are on sale. Yeah, okay. the, the, the was, was gold palette is on sale. Mm -hmm. Amina, her. you said you're oily skin. So does, do those, the cream foundation, the cream products, do they stay on your skin or do they start to move or slide they it depends on the cream product so i find like the one from huda is okay the one from natasha is okay but i have some like um one of the ones like uh benefit had one it's like a liquid version that one is the worst and another one that's nice but is just a bit too much for my oily skin um Pam mentioned Vanessa myricks i have this that i got i think i got this in the beautylish um uh, New Year's box, I think, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. And this is stunning, but it's just too much for my oily skin. It's, it's, but it's not, I would use this as an eyeshadow before I use it on my face because it's not as oily there. It's kind of oily, but not too much. So I'm gonna get you could set it with translucent powder. That's why I was asking. Oh, okay. I do have, I do have it, but I feel like that takes away from the glow. I well, I think you do an excellent job at your makeup. One of the things about your face, them cheekbones, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got beautiful cheeks. And so when you put your makeup on, it doesn't look like I like lots of makeup, but you put a you put your makeup on, it looks beautiful, it complements your skin, it is authentically you oh, and you. you look gorgeous. So we everybody said, Amina, you look gorgeous. You see it in comments. Thank you, guys. <laughs> but you know, to be honest, Don't with you, me up, you though. look very pretty without makeup as well. You know. Have you seen me without makeup? <laughs> I think she's assuming that when you're on your videos, you're without makeup. But I think she just does light makeup. I just do light makeup because you know I yeah. you know I gotta cover them dark circles and the you know. So where were you born, I mean, if you don't mind me asking? I was born in New York. Okay. Yeah. And where's the accent from? My accent is very generic American accent. Um, <laughs> my. <laughs> If you type up American accent, it would be my accent. But um, mm -hmm. my parents are from West Africa. So my mom is from Guinea. My dad is from Mali. Um, oh. They immigrated here to the U.S. when they were pregnant with me. And, you know, usually New York was always the first stop. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where I was born. And then when I was very young, we moved to Texas. Um, but okay. people always wonder, why don't you have a Southern accent? Why don't you have that, you know, Southern twang? But... I grew up in a household of immigrants and they don't have an accent. So my my accent's very much what you would, or what I heard on TV. Mm -hmm. And it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just very generic. Okay. And so people don't know where I'm from. You live in, 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 in Europe uh, or England? Yes, England? yes. But that was just in my adult life. So I moved to uh, Europe uh, in 2016. Okay. And moved around there a bit and came back here in August. Okay. Yeah. I knew, I knew, I remember when you said you were coming back to the States. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, thank you. Who's, who's next? Deb? Thank you, guys. Are you smoking a joint, Deb? I am. I need to be. Nope. Um, I don't smoke. So. <laughs> oh, God. I don't smoke anything. You I should. I should. Huh? Save the money for perfume to so buy more sweet exactly. perfume. Okay, <laughs> this one here is another um 
Swiss Arabian one. This is called Noof. And what's that called? Noof, N O U F. Oh, you can't be taking notes. I am. <laughs> okay, so this one I'm has rosewood, cedar, amber, grapefruit, bergamot. It has oud in it. Very light oud, but this is beautiful. It's like sweet and woody. It's very pretty. You have some of some of the prettiest bottles I've ever seen. Yeah, that one's a really nice bottle. That's a big one too. Super heavy too. Yeah, this one is really nice. Wow. Yes, ma'am. That's my latest addition. One of my latest. So how how often do you guys buy perfumes? You know, when the heart tells me to. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. You know? Oh, when when the weather changes. The all the time. I'm literally buying all the time, but it just depends on like, yeah, like when the heart speaks or whatever she said. Or, but I always have things on my, I have things in my shopping cart or my wish list. And then I'll just be like, okay, if I've heard a lot of things about something or if I'm feeling like some kind of notes, I'll just select those ones and check out. Hmm. I do most of my purchases at night. Is there a reason do the same thing? I would uh, fill up my cart and then right before bed, bed, I'll just click submit order and then go to bed. So I don't regret it right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before I go to sleep. Yeah. Uh I'll do the I'll do the order and then uh I woke up in the morning like, God, what have I done? <laughs> yep, I do I do that a lot. Yeah, same. But same, same, same. Uh, lately, I mean, you know, now I'm I get into a point I'm like, I'm only gonna buy perfumes that I really, really want. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, things that I really, really want. I don't buy everything anymore. <laughs> yeah. Crystal I said you buy perfume on the day that I'm going to lie, Dr. Rose. That's every day. That's okay. yeah, that's every day. It's time for the better slate. Okay. But I, I, don't, I don't do big purchases anymore. I don't. Uh, well, what's what's really a big purchase? Because somebody um, last bottles. week when we were doing Ten our bottles. lives, huh? Ten bottles at a time—that's a big purchase. Wow, I've never done that before. I, oh, I've done that multiple times. Yeah, yeah. No, I think the most I've ever bought was like five bucks, five bottles at one time. Well, no, that's not true. I have bought, but they were on sale. I've never bought like full price fragrances like that you know oh. if i catch a bottle and stuff like that or i'd ask them to put it on hold and go back the next day so because i have to think about it you know sometimes you you see like a good brand or good price or something to that effect mm -hmm. you know and you're like oh i want <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i that, think that's accurate yeah <laughs> uh. so that's i've been learning to do that like um I took so long to purchase. Once my stuff was missing, I couldn't find my other card because I hid my card, one of my other cards, because I, I didn't want to force my, you know, when it's, it's real easy to swipe a card. And um, so it took me a whole day to find it in order to make my um, Roses Berberanza, Berberanza purchase uh -huh. last night. But it actually, this whole situation actually put me in keel because I think I had like, 13 or 14 bottles and like fragrance buy and in max room in, in, in these carts. And it caused me to take a step back because I'm verbalizing that I shouldn't be buying, but then I turn around and I go purchase, you know, and then it caused me, this whole situation caused me to take a look at, okay. Yeah. And we always talk about decluttering and technically we don't really declutter. We just give away so we can buy more, you know, make space so, for others. Huh? Or make room for new ones. Yes, make rooms and and actually make rooms for the ones that you love. So <laughs> the fact that we've been swapping, mm -hmm. bless you, bless you. Thank you. Sorry. The fact Sorry. that we've been swapping for the last two or three weeks, everybody's been sending, you know, folks. It gives us an opportunity to smell stuff before we dump a hundred, two hundred dollars. Because the two fragrances that I'm I regret purchasing was Killian's Black Phantom mm -hmm. and Straight to Heaven. 
I really regret that. And even like trying to reclutter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal's hilarious. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I'm thankful for the fragrances that I received. And I got some from Aaron, from Dr. Rose, from Uncommon Sense. I'm oh, you guys need to here. send me some. I need some. I don't know what to buy. But that's the thing. It's it's just kind of, you see everyone on YouTube talking about fragrances. Yeah. And basically, like, I went... When I saw how much those fragrances with a pretty bottle, I don't know what the brand is, that Debbie you have on your counter. When I saw those and I, I, I made a list, not from this book and another book, I made a list. And <laughs> then when I saw how much it was it's very affordable. And so because they're affordable and because a lot of people really like them, it's very easy to go in hard and spend $300 on those when you're spending two, $300 on one bottle. So, you know, it just got me to thinking a little bit. But that being said, <laughs> that being said, I, I really want to buy the Mickey Mouse. Uh, Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really want to buy it, but I watched Cassandra and, um, and Dawn. They're live a couple nights ago when they unboxed theirs. Okay. And I have reservations about it because folks who have, I haven't smelled it, but there are some people who receive samples and, you know, I go off of, I respect their, their, their views. I was about to say vision. I respect their, their views on fragrances. So that's, what's got me in the back of my mind. I'm like, that's almost 400 bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I mean, I, they might put it on sale for like $120 next week. Not that one. No. So. Which this one? one here, the Wonder Woman. This one, that's what I thought was going to happen. But I ended up buying it like the night it released. And instead of it going on sale, it actually, they had it in the stores, like in Saks, I believe. So those two won't go on sale, just like the Whispers of Truth, which is the favorite fragrance from the Whispers of the Garden collection, the one in the white bottle. That one hasn't gone on sale. I think the most it's gone on sale, maybe 25% off maybe but um those aren't going to go on sale the rest of them however you know they're on sale and we had that conversation you know about that before but that's probably the only reason i would be buying it is literally because of the bottle and disney is not really i mean i'm from the caribbean so disney is not really a staple i don't know in my childhood it's in my kid's childhood. My mom took the, you know, my boys to Disney World and stuff like that. But for me, it's not something that I didn't grow up going, you know, people talked about what Disney means to them. And everybody says, oh, like I go every summer. My parents took me, you know, every summer and stuff. That that wasn't there for us. So for me, that's the only fragrance I think I would want. But um, another fragrance I'm looking to enjoy is this one here. And this is Narciso Rodriguez. This is yes, an old yeah. Joanne said, save my money. Yeah. Three to four bucks. Yes. Yeah. So this is, I don't know who, if you guys have tried this before. I have it. It's, yes. It's a very affordable fragrance. Is that the black bottle or the red bottle? Yeah. Yes. It's the, it's the black one. Oh, that's the eau de toilette? Yes. Yeah. But it lasts very long. And for me, I get a lot of compliments. I wear this one primarily to work. This is kind of like my one of my fragrances that I it easy grab for me to go to work with. And I really enjoy this fragrance. It's the Narciso Rodriguez, the must, the sweetness, the powderiness of it all. You know, it's all up in there, but it's a very you know it's inoffensive. Like you could overspray this and still it wouldn't um it wouldn't choke any in my opinion, it wouldn't choke anybody out. Okay. But that's one of the fragrances that I really enjoy. And other than that, that is all I have. Oh. So I mentioned on my live today, I don't know if you guys try. Bobby Brown used to be the bomb.com when it came to bronzers. <laughs> and okay. I heard that they were going to be going out, right? Because they started carrying Bobby Brown at TJ Maxx and stuff like this. So mm. I could find it before. And I, I found, I bought this full price, actually. This is the one makeup thing that I bought full price that's not Pat McGrath. And this is going to be in the kit. And then this is a, it was a limited edition MAC Compact. And I don't remember what it was released. Can you see the color? Mm -hmm. so that's a bronzer and then a beige or brown 
like under here. And then when you move this right here, I don't want to touch it, but when you move this right here, it has a cream oh, right okay. there. So Mac, I think, is one of the first ones that started doing these type of compacts. You know, um, a lot of newer brands are out on the market and whatnot, but Mac lipsticks, Mac lip liners, even some of Mac eyeliner. I don't think you could go around with Mac, so I'm I'm still riding hard for Mac. No, I love Mac. I love Mac. That's and that's all I've got. <clears throat> so is that all this all for your a Christmas giveaway thing? Mm -hmm. why, don't you, why don't you just- The only thing know? is that with these colors here, and like I said, people can gift them to other people, right? So if it doesn't go with your complexion, um, this one is in deep four, the Bobbi Brown uh, bronzer. And this one, the color is dark. Maybe I'm, I'm probably the only person who doesn't do holidays yet. You don't know do holidays? Mean, never. I mean, never, that's never my holiday. favorite time of the year. So me I too. Used to do, I used to do Thanksgiving until I had a really bad experience in Thanksgiving with somebody who invited me to, over her house for Thanksgiving. So I stopped doing that. It's been years and years. Oh, wow. That's a story that I really don't want to, you know, talk. Um, right. You know, it, it's very private. Uh, I can understand the, that. Uh, the uh, other uh, uh, thing for Christmas and stuff, uh, I give all year long, so I don't have to, you know, uh, give uh, for Christmas. And then I started, you know, uh, for the last 15 years, because I started, you know, instead of spending money and then giving, you know, to the kids and everything for Christmas, we do for other people who actually really, really need it. So I don't, yeah, I don't... I'm not into holidays. I don't celebrate, you know, people go crazy decorating, spend all that money for holidays. I'm like, yeah, I give all year long. So, you know, I'm, I'm good there. Well, for me, I don't know for anybody else, but for Christmas, you know, that's a big deal. That's one of the biggest holidays. We've done that in the Caribbean. It's a big deal because it transitions right into carnival afterwards. But um, for us, we've always celebrated, my kids and I, and that's what, that's what we do. I enjoy it and I take care of my, I have family like everybody else, you know, we all, we all take care of each other. It's a, it's a time of the year. And, and to be honest with you, Christmas isn't about the giving the gifts basically, you know, for us, Christmas is really about spending time with family. And especially this year, since we can't really do that, like I was supposed to be in Miami this year and I can't go, you know, so somebody yeah. opening a box, it doesn't matter what, what's in the box. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, always, I always spend uh, spend Christmas and New Year's with my mother, but mm -hmm. this year I can't. Oh, you're right. Because I'm COVID. Yeah. 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 That's pretty, pretty bum. So I'm just looking pretty 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 forward to something from my mom, whether it's a card with a tweezer in it or whatever. I don't care. I just like <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. That's kind of how we roll. We just like opening stuff, you know. Yeah. So it's fun for us. I love it too. That's my favorite, like you said. And I love giving gifts. Like I don't get as much as I give, but I still give. Like I probably will do a lot on my channel in December. Yeah. I just love giving gifts. Like I love the expression in people's faces mm -hmm. and just like the way they feel. I love getting gifts too. But well, I'm just like, I love giving. I, yeah, like the I think this is the only forum so far that I have watched. So when I think it was Uncommon and Dr. Rose and then it was, I think, Debit was you and Dr. Rose after that. And, you know, that was doing the, and then it was um, Aaron and Dr. Rose. I think that's how it went. Yeah. And so that type of atmosphere where people came to the channel and, you know, they may or may not expect anything, but the response you get back from them when, you know, I don't know about y'all, but this is how I feel. The response I get back from people when they say yeah. thank you and it's genuine, to me, that yeah. means a lot. And I mentioned, yeah. you know, sharing. Nobody else talks about, before I started hanging out with y'all chicks, nobody was talking about, let me share with you and let me share with you. Everybody had their own stuff and they was holding on to it. Right. And the first time, right. Yeah, and this is the first time, I think, yeah. I've been watching YouTube for over a decade. This is the first time I've seen the forum where Dr. was like, oh, you want this? Who said it first? You know, and then Debo said, you know, so this is the first time. So I think that people like that and we create something for them that they probably don't have other places so True. i like what's that i have my life tomorrow with uh uh 
my entire collection part three mm -hmm. which, uh, i have to you know i i give a test uh, from each of the perfumes that i talk about right. then i have to sit there and uh, my, the worst thing I, I don't mind giving giving stuff it's, but packing them, <laughs> it's the, the packet packaging oh yeah it can be tedious <laughs> yeah oh my god what time is your live tomorrow so i think it's at 7 p.m okay okay so now before yours yeah, I think yeah, ours is eight, eight or nine. Yeah, eight o'clock is yours. Mine only mine is only going to last an hour. Okay. Yeah. What yeah, about yours? Uh, I'm kind of since you're doing the live, we awesome. swapped some samples, mystery samples. So it's gonna be another mystery sample type thing. I sent him seven, he sent me seven, and we're gonna talk about them. I wanna do that with you, Amina, but like uh, I'm scared because so you're in her like nerves, but she cool people low key. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I, I, I think I'm. I think I'm. I'm, I'm just about done with him tonight. <laughs> I just put him on. Oh out. no! Yeah, he's on time out. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Nadia. Bye, Nadia. Bye, Nadia. Bye, Nadia. Bye. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, but I publicly said that I put him on time out because he said something earlier, and I, already, I, I did not even. But how do you even do that? Right click, and then you say either block or put them on timeout. Mm. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Probably I probably put him on timeout. Yeah. I, I don't I don't need I don't need that. <laughs> How are they able to tell that you put them on timeout? Does it tell them? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay yep. guys. This is supposed to be a fun day. Deborah, yeah. I want to pub where's Deborah? Right here. Here. Okay, oh, no. I want to publicly uh, uh, apologize to you and your friend. Yeah, you. I don't see them anymore, so I can't do it. I tried doing it earlier, and it says like when I tried to click on their name, but I didn't do the second time. It wasn't me. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's it's. <clears throat> it's Hi, Drea. Huh? Drea, see Oh. That's fine with him. Thank you. He's very lighthearted, so it didn't bother him too much. I just didn't understand everything. It's fine. Thank you. I just realized it was Jermaine from uh, Fragonapple, right? I didn't oh, realize I didn't know the name was not even. Um, it said what L eight or something. L eighty one. Yes. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. Jermaine, yeah, he's really cool people. But yeah, I think that that you know kind of put a, a dampen in the whole live, and it kind of gave a really uncomfortable energy. But yeah. I'm glad that we all kind of came out of that and were able to continue mm -hmm. but um yeah <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen again <laughs> yeah hopefully. i know a lot of people were feeling very awkward especially in the chat i saw some comments like wow this is harsh this is you know yeah and some people said to take it off the we should take it off so, i didn't see that take one off um when we were talking about it the back the back and forth of what was going on Oh, okay. But I'm glad we're over it now, so we can end it on a positive note, hopefully. Yes. Good night, Maud. Good night, Bye, Maud. Maud. Thank you, Maud, for the deep we need, Maud we need, deep we need to invite Maud to, uh, a Maud to, uh, to a live. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of these days. Maud is cool, people. Yeah, Maud's very sweet. So uh, I have. So, you mentioned, her, you mentioned the. the um, we've been here for two hours and two and a half hours already, guys. Yeah, we should end. Yeah, we should wrap yes. it up. Before. You mentioned the makeup one. I, is that something that they guys? I saw some folks interested in that. Is something that they want to do? Which one? Not me. The what one I saw when someone mentioned doing the makeup when you were talking about your makeup. Oh so, yeah, and we said yeah. that Kia and Sean. Is that something you guys would be interested in doing? A live for makeup, sure. I mean, if it's for fun, I mean, I'll just be like a. Maybe I won't join. Maybe I'll just watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch. I, 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 just watch I just watch that one because I, 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 I mean, I'd be the first one to say I don't know the first thing about putting on makeup. <laughs> I just put it on and then. Hoping that but you're always looking so nice, huh? So, but you're yeah. always looking so nice. I think she's mastered okay. doing her things. Yeah, yeah, that could be it. Yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't take much, right? Uh, face powder, lipstick, and blush. I don't wear mascara. I don't do all that stuff. So, 
Yeah. yeah. Anyway, this has been real. I think I'm going to go. My cat is throwing herself at the door trying to get in. <laughs> yeah, my niece oh, yeah. is here. I want to thank oh, you all. I think I owe Joanne, I owe Joanne a, uh, a, a decade of uh, perfume uh, from oh. all the... For being the first person? Yeah, she was the first person mm -hmm. on my channel. Who was the first person? She's going to get a big package from you, a big box. Who? Joanne? Joanne. She got all her stuff from me already. Oh, okay. Well, she's going to get more. <laughs> yeah, I, I owe, the only thing I owe to people right now are the uh, the testers from my last live. <laughs> And then tomorrow when I have the other one. Uh, well, I've got both Joanne and Mighty Strong I'm going to be sending out to because both of them came on at the same time on mine. Okay. Joanne? So, I guess she probably was doing And Mighty uh, Strong. I think when people click click on to their own, um, you know, like when they click on, you know, uh -huh. the time that they click on, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Dr. Rose says when you're, it don't take much. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say thank you very much for everyone that came to the live, even throughout the awkwardness. Way to hang in there. Thank and, you, guys. And thank like you. We really appreciate y'all coming. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? Yeah, I had like 12 people, which was surprising. 12 people constant, consistently. Oh, um, that's a lot. Yeah, that's one. great. That's, yeah. like, that's 12 that's hours. Like first that's one. actually 12 people. That's like tw uh, 24 hours of watch time for you. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. 20, 20, more than 24 because we've been here for two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I'm really close that's, to my got I mean, watch time. That's, not, that's actually pretty good. Thanks. So yeah. if you guys don't mind turning out for tomorrow night, Amina is at 8 o'clock and yes. 8 o'clock, right? And Dr. Yeah. Rose is one hour prior to at seven o'clock, but Amina is going to be on with um with Dre Uncommon with Dre. Sense. Okay. Yes, with Uncommon Sense tomorrow night, so we can show support. Um, I know that Lulu put out something earlier today that she wasn't feeling well, so I'm sure Lulu? that she's going to. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh, I need, I need, so, to, I need to, to check. She on had her live. I think she's trying to do lives more frequently. Uh -huh. So just trying to make sure that everyone is supporting everyone else. So, so thank you. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Channel name. Say again. Oh, my channel yeah. name is Roots Gifted Hands. Can you type it for her? Roots Gifted Hands. you type it. Yeah, because you're whoever's doing the whoever's the. I think you I can put it in your room. I hope I'm, I'm I hope I'm typing it right, but I I, I got it. Okay, well. Bye, Sean. Good night. Good night, Joy. Bye, Sean. Love you, Mama. All right. So I think this is this is it. Good night. Thank you Good guys night. for being here. Bye, Amina. 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 Bye, Amina.